What's going on? What's going on? Apologize for the slight delay. I'm also trying to get the camera set up, so just bear with me. We'll get there. We will get there. God, heaven, man. I hate that. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Happy Father's Day to everybody. When I scheduled this thing, completely forgot it was Father's Day, man. Going to be honest there. Completely forgot. So that is on me. But I want this camera to be like this. I want it to be staying like this. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell I can make that happen. So just bear with me here. I got I got here late. So you sold your food stamps. Oh man, those are valuable in this in this tough day and age, man. So hopefully this will be worth it. But let's see what we got here, man. This is kind of like hanging, so I don't think this is very I don't know, this doesn't feel very solid, but we'll see what, what comes of it. Anyway, let's see. Let's put a let's let's test the figure out on screen right here and just see if we have it. And hopefully Hopefully everything. Oh yeah, that's money right there. Hopefully this will stay though. It's not strapped down in any way. It's legitimately just hanging there. So hopefully that'll be the you know everything will turn out. I appreciate everybody joining in, man. Hopefully today will go smooth. I'm literally sweating. I've been I've had to throw everything together last minute here. I uh, kind of messed up. So it's it's my fault. It's all on me. But we'll get everything figured out. It's going to be a good stream. Not everything that's going to be for sale is actually listed. So that's also my fault. But anyways, man. It should be a good one. I appreciate everybody being here. We're going to go through a couple things or a few things before we get started into everything. If you guys are joining on YouTube, I greatly appreciate that as well. May have to take a slight second break here in a second, so I do apologize for that. But today, we got some good stuff for sale, man. I'm excited. We have a lot of custom championships that I really couldn't even get listed up there, and I wanted to have, have them under buy now, but it didn't really turn out correctly. But I appreciate all the Happy Father's Day comments, man. You guys are amazing. Appreciate all you guys. Did you make that Jey Uso? I did make that Jey Uso. Let's get it down here right here. Let's go. Let's take a look at it. So this Jey Uso right here, this is main event Yeet Jey Uso. I did fix this up on a random video. These clothes were made by Elite Threads on Instagram. So this shirt right here and these pants. And then I threw some uh, Deluxe Aggression Jacks John Cena shoes on there and it just kind of throws it together. So yeah, it's a pretty cool figure right there. I like that. I would sell that, but I kind of need him right now. So we'll see. We'll see what comes with that. But yeah, there's main event Jey Uso. Hopefully it doesn't fall. We're going to put him up there in the rafters like Sting. Maybe he won't get mugged. Anyway, God, I'm sweating so profusely because I had to sprint to make this happen. Anyways, everybody take a slight. We got we to gotta pick up a Diet Do. We got to get Diet Do in here. The stream's brought to you by Diet Do. Well, one day officially we'll get there, but we're going to crack this open right now. Nice. Very nice. Anyways. Let's get into it, man. Hopefully, we got some good stuff for everybody. Now, if you're wondering, right now, on the buy now, there's only one item listed, and that is going to be a patron package. So, on the patron package, you do get the uh, graphic card right here. It's just like a thank you note, and then it is autographed, and then it also has, it comes with a crowd sign, and then it also comes with an MDT sticker. So, these are patron packages. These go for 10 bucks, and it's just a cool way to support the channel. You get some cool goodies right there for your display or whatever you want to do there, man. I greatly appreciate that. So those are available. I think there's only 10 available right now because I'm running low on stickers and crowd signs. So yeah, I appreciate that. Only a diet do. Do you try the fun exclusive flavor? Usually not just because I don't like to drink my calories. So there's that. Shout out to Dom89 for the purchase of the patron package. Appreciate that. Still haven't gotten my sticker. Well, Mike, I, I don't know what to tell you there, Brad. I don't know what to tell you there. Anyways. Threadheads is the best in the U.S. Toy Stalgia. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, guys. No worries, man. If you guys don't buy anything, I appreciate you guys just hanging out. I appreciate everybody just coming by. It doesn't matter whether you buy something or you don't or you just look, man. I greatly appreciate it. Just tuning in. It's just it's fun time anyway. Every time we get on here and do a stream, it's always super fun. So if you're this is the first time you've down, downloaded whatnot, if you're seeing this on YouTube right now, definitely download whatnot. There should be a link there that you can join on. You get a $15 free coupon pretty much you get $15 just credited to your account for you to use wherever so I greatly appreciate that got any exciting mystery items tonight we do we have I think oh god in heaven see I told you it wasn't I told you it wasn't stable hold up now so yeah we do have some exciting mystery items we're gonna have some good stuff going on and I look forward to those I'm, I'm excited about those we have some pretty cool mystery items in my opinion but I guess you guys can be the judge of that once we get there and hopefully, like I said, everything turns out all right. Again, I had to sprint to get in position for this. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. If I haven't said that 26 times already. 
But anyway, let's get into our first item, man. What should we auction off first? Again, we have a lot of custom titles that I want. I wasn't able to list, man. So I do appreciate that. Oh, dude, what's going on, Dylan? I appreciate it, man. Thank you for showing up. Should be a good one, man. Should be a good one. I appreciate you and your son. Damn, dude, I cannot get this thing to stand up. Christ on a bike. I am failing miserably right now. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there if you're tuning in. Do you sell a Mercari? Usually not. Usually not a Mercari seller. Let's get into the first item. I don't know what the hell's going on with the with the thing, but let's get into our first item here. We're going to... I kind of want to get one of these big items out of the way first. Let's move everything out of the way because I'm not going to be able to fit everything on screen. We're going to have a WWE action figure weapon lot going up first. Now, I've never done this on, on whatnot before. I've never had, you know, anything like that. How do I spend my $15 credit? I want to say that you just buy an item and then you should just have, if you make sure your cards are on file and everything like that, but you should have $15 in your thing if you use the, if you use the credit there. But the massive weapon lot, man, here we go. First weapon in the lot, we are going to have a ladder. So you do get the ladder. These two black tables are not included, so don't include the black table. We have this ladder here. We're going to include the folding table. We have a brown folding table. We have a referee shirt. Have your own, you know, special guest referee. We have a couple crutches for you. We got the breakaway guitar. We have the breakaway cinder block. We have three, no count them, four steel chairs, but they are, we have two silver ones. So we have one silver one. We have two silver ones. We have a black folding chair, the ringside exclusive. We have the AEW Unrival black chair. We have a kendo stick. We have a Jax steel tray. With the face imprint in it. We have the CM Punk Megaphone. For you CM Punk collectors out there. We have... Okay, this is random, but we have another brown crutch in there for some reason. We got a sledgehammer. What is the promo code? You shouldn't need a promo code. Shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a promo code. We have a baseball bat. And we have a nightstick. So... This is the massive weapon lot. You get the ladder. You get the table. You get everything pictured right here piled up on this right here. So this should be fun, man. If you clicked the link, if you if you clicked on the invite link and you came through the invite link, you should automatically have $15 credit in your, in your thing if it's your first time signing up. Might as well sell your whole weapons collections. Jesus, nah, man. We're good over here. This is a nice weapons lot. You can put it all together with your action figure collections, man. Here we go. We're going to be running the big WWE figure figure lot right here. So here we go. Make sure, make sure that everybody has their their card on here. How do I use the internet? That's a good one, Phil. Facts. That's facts. All right. I don't know why the damn tripod keeps leaning, but I'm about to fight everyone in the chat because of it. Here we go, man. Again, make sure your cards are ready on file, man. We don't want any failed auctions because then I'll have to redo it. And it just messes everybody up. Ninja Breadman 92 with the lot. That's actually, dude, that's a good, uh, I feel like you got a good deal right there. You got a lot of unique accessories. You don't have to go out of your way. I feel like if you got on eBay right now and tried to buy some of this stuff individually, you'd pay $6 for the bat. You'd spend $7 on the tray, you know? So I think you got a good deal there. That's a good deal. I am about to have a damn conniption over this tripod. Christ on a bike. Appreciate the Father's Day wishes. I don't know why it keeps leaning. It's legitimately on the ground. It's on the ground. What's a man got to do? All right. Shout out to Ninja for the purchase right there, man. I think that was a good deal. I think you got a good deal there on all those weapons. I don't think you're going to beat that. I think, what is it? Isn't it just for just for two chairs, the table and the ladder? Isn't it something like $17 on ringside or 15 bucks on ringside? And you got a slew more than that right here. So 
We'll take care of all this. We'll get this out of the way and we'll run our next auction. Appreciate everybody coming through, man. While we let everything settle in here. Lean back, lean back tripod. Yeah, the tripod is a piece of shish right now. It's $8 for the ladder, chairs and table. All right, well, I think, again, if you were to pair every single thing that you got in that lot, if you go on eBay, man, eBay prices are crazy, man. eBay prices are absolutely nuts, especially for, like, if you wanted to buy one head sculpt, it would be, like, five or six bucks for one head sculpt when I don't think that that's necessarily, you know, fair. So, see, look at that. If that would just stay right there, but look, it wants to lean. I need some tape, by God. Actually, you know what? I have some tape right here. Everybody just take a breath. Take a breath. We're going to take this sucker down so I never have to worry about it ever again. Here we go. Oh, my, oh my God. Yeah, exactly. $5 for a head and shipping every single time. Every single time, man. The eBay prices be killing me. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. I I mean, I, I know a lot of people buy basics just for the head sculpts. Camera's crossing the line. I know, man. I'm working on it. Just give me just a, just a second. We're going to fix it. What's in the crate? What crate? Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Oh, my God. Did we get it? All right. All right. I think we, I think we got it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. We're good. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Let me take a breath. I'm, I feel like I just did a full body workout, man. I feel like I just did a full body workout. Yeah, this isn't a crate. This is just a background. Real ones remember the, the Royal Rumble. But, all righty. What is our next item that we have here? Is it worth it to get the new Jeff Hardy AEW? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what, dude? Let's get a modern figure in here. A really great WWE Elite of the Year candidate. We're going to put Captain Lou up here. Captain Lou hitting a lot of places, but some people don't have it available to them. So I figured I'd include one of these up here. We have Captain Lou ready for you. Ready to go. <sighs> Best non-demon Finn Balor made by Mattel is going to be the Elite 74 Finn Balor. Best one. Ringside exclusive is a close second, but I think the Elite 74 is the best one overall. Absolutely. Also, if I missed your question, I do apologize for that. If I do miss your, your question, you can either just keep asking. If you Also, if you just, like, the donation would pop up at the top, and that would automatically get your question answered, But if, unless it's just something really stupid or inappropriate. But that would I would also be able to read it much easier. So sometimes I'll be not focused and miss that. But S. Rivera with the win, 12 bucks, Fantastic. It's loose. I think this goes for 13 You can find this for $13 at retail, so I think you got a great deal right there on Captain Lou. Fantastic piece there. Captain Lou out the door. Two auctions down, man. All righty. Here we go. Yeah, that's a steal. I'd say so. I'd say so. Fantastic figure, too. Let's see. Next up, let's let's do a championship, man. Let's get – I have this custom women's championship. I painted this myself. It's just a – you know, it's the gold women's championship. And we're going to sell this one off right now. So we do have – the gold women's championship custom made. I don't know if we even have this. This isn't even on the horizon. I don't think. I don't even think they're they've really even put this in a render or anything, man. So I, I think this would be a really good piece to add here. I don't think it's perfect by any stretch, but I think it's a good placeholder until we get an official one from Mattel for sure. But this could spice up your women's action figure collections right there. Will I ever fed it again? Oh, for sure, man. For sure. I've had some stuff cooking in the background. I think the Fed thing is going to be one of those things that just drops out of nowhere to nobody. Nobody's going to see it coming. Worm925 with the win, payment successful, bringing home the women's championship. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Are there going to be any custom world titles without the nameplates? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Absolutely. We are going to have. So the thing about it is we have quite a few. Is this what you're talking about? Like World Heavyweight Championship. We got the Undisputed Championship, ones like this. I did see that, Mike. That was funny. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a few of those here tonight, so you can stay tuned. The mystery items, man. I'm excited for the mystery items. If you guys are unaware with our whatnot streams, we always have five, six, seven, eight different mystery items that nobody knows about, and I just drop them on you, and they're either one of a kind, you know, one of a kind customs or different things like that. 
and uh, you know things that are what not exclusive, pretty much not even been shown on the channel before. So that's what's fun about the about the mystery items. So we'll drop those at the end, and then we're also going to give away a figure at the end of the stream. I'll have to let you guys know about that when we get there. But all you have to do is be active in the thing. You don't have to buy anything to be able to participate in the giveaway as well, which is also what makes the giveaway really fun. All you have to do is just be in the chat. And when it says enter giveaway, you just press enter giveaway and you're automatically entered in there. And you don't have to do anything outside of that. And it'll be free shipping to you. So you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to buy anything. It's a great way to just be here for it. So you can participate in that, man. Any bloodline figs? For sure, man. We're going to have some bloodline figs. Absolutely. Next up, we have a fun figure that really has has sat around in my collection. It it's not even really had a placeholder. It's been the Storm Collectibles Hogan. So this figure right here, it kind of just sits in my bathroom right outside my office. And it just sits beside the sink. And I was like, you know what? This is gonna hurt me a little bit because I pick him up and pose him randomly all the time. And so, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's let's send this guy to a good home. Let's send it to a big time. Why is it so big? Well, it's Storm Collectibles, man. Storm Collectibles, if you wanted to compare it, uh, let's bring William football regal on screen right here it's not like he's just big man he's a kind of a comic inspired sort of you know deal there the germs on that fig no it's not like that it's just it's not like in the bathroom it's it's a sink that's connected and it's by my fodder bin it's not like i sit him on the toilet and i pose him around while i'm taking a shish that's not how it goes all right that's not what i meant by that all righty pooping him yeah exactly here we go. Sure, LOL. That's good stuff. All righty. Well, if you ever wanted to kill the cell of a Storm Collectibles Hogan, I guess that was the way to do it. <laughs> Where the hell is it, man? Now I can't even find the damn listing on here, so that's good. All right, Storm Collectibles Hogan. All righty. Storm Collectibles Hogan comes as is. While while we wait, I'm gonna take a sip of the coveted diet dude. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Loki didn't even eat dinner before I started this, so that's good. We're all starving in here. That's fine. Nineteen dollars is a steal for this. Nineteen dollars is a steal for this. I wanted the Captain Lou figure for my girl, and she met at a grand opening store in Staten Island. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That's a cool story, dude. Nineteen dollars for the Storm Collectibles Hogan is a steal. I mean, I feel like the shirt's worth that alone. Maybe not, but if it didn't have poop part, dude, it wasn't in the actual bathroom. I, I, it was my fault. It was all my fault. Absolutely my fault for doing that, but. Storm Collectibles Hogan is gone, man. No longer going to be chilling. No longer going to be fedding and shishing with the Hulk Hogan figure. But, all righty. Let's go, uh, let's go for, you know what? No longer, Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to read that aloud to the class. Let's go with, what the hell is that? All right, let's go with this one right here, man. This is a classic. We have the Toys R Us exclusive John Cena prototype figure right here. Now, you may see that there's like a mark on it right here. There's like a couple marks on the torso. I am going to fix them up before shipping him out. I always do that. I always clean the figures really well. And, you know, like if there's like some things on there, all the joints are super tight. He feels really good in hand. So, yeah, man, they were... He was getting messed up back in the day, man. Looks like he just, he's the standard creator wrestler right here. Toys R Us, John Cena. What's going on, fellas? Trey pulling these out of nowhere. You got pulling me out of nothingness right onto the screen. Just bought that fig for way too much at a con. Well, Christian just won it for $15, but his payment failed. His payment did fail, man. Can't have payment fail. Payment fail, it means we got to run it back. It means we got to run it back. But we're not going to do it right now. We're going to have to set it off to the side. Come on, man. Don't be doing that. Got to get our payments. Fix the payment, man. Make sure your payments are good. He does look like a, he looks like a 2K creator superstar. He absolutely does. All right, man. Next up, we have the two-pack Triple H Elite. 
gold here. Came with the Jeff Hardy. Royal Brothers is a channel on YouTube. They steal MDT's videos. Yeah, man, I get a message about that every day, and I've contacted YouTube. I, oh, man, I can't tell you how many times, like 20 times, and they always tell me, have you read the copyright rules? I'm like, Brad, they're literally uploading my video verbatim. Like the exact, They're taking my video file and just re-uploading it with everything the same, not adding anything or changing anything. And they're like, did you read the rules, though? I'm like, okay, just get the hell out of my face then. So I just, yeah, I just stopped. I stopped caring because they're pieces of shish and they don't do anything about it. I've tried reporting them. They give zero. They give zero, man. Trash. Absolute trash. They don't ever like you. I'm more mad at YouTube than the Royal Brothers guy. You know what I mean? I'm more mad at, at YouTube. YouTube's just like, yeah, he's good. That's fine. So what do you do, man? What do you do? Laurentos is winning. We got Harrington winning right now for the Triple H two-pack elite. Huge shout out to Tanner, man. Appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody by coming in. Harrington with the W. $20 for the Triple H, man. Appreciate you, fellas. <clears throat> In my opinion, the toilet fig should be more valuable. You'd think so. You'd think so, man. You really would, wouldn't you? Yeah, you put a yeah, you put you put a song in somebody. You just put like four seconds of a song in your video, they can take all of your bread. You can upload somebody's full YouTube video and they're like, Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Alrighty. Appreciate the happy Father's Day wishes, man. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Appreciate it. Everybody tuning in, man. Should be a good night. Should be a good day. Alrighty. Let's uh what I want to do is I want to I'm going to quick add the John Cena and rerun it. So we're going to rerun the Cena real quick, just so I can get it out of my brain and it'll be done. So we are going to rerun our John Cena right here. And here we go. We're going to rerun the Cena just because it did get canceled. So make sure your payment methods are ready to go, man. Make sure your payment methods are ready to ready to go. Toys R Us, John Cena. Yeah, they the payment failed. So if the payment fails, can't can't do it, man. The reason why I started collecting figures again four years ago went from like 20 figs to over 160. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad that anything we do over here can inspire you in any creative way, man. That's amazing. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you're involved, man. It's awesome. Glombox. Interesting name. With the $19 W and his payment was successful. So cheers to Glom. Is it Glom? G-Lom? Glom box with a W right there. All righty. Yeah, it would be cool. What I've always said about fedding is if you were to do any collaborations, it'd be cool if everybody's fed had their own created superstars, like to a T, everything the same, because then you could really do some crossover. I don't want my payment failed because it still charged me. Well, I don't, I don't know, man. It said payment failed on my end. But it's all good. It shouldn't have charged. And if it did, well, we can get that figured out. Next up, we have Blue Tista here. And the Blue Tista is an underrated piece, all right? Blue Tista is underrated. Nobody likes the Blue Tista. I think it's pretty damn good. I like the Blue Tista. This figure, for the time, I wish that... I wish that it had like the like the padding on the shins and stuff instead of just the sleeves. I'm pretty sure he had like McDavid pads on there, but nonetheless, it's still good. Yeah, dude, any creative superstars would be cool for any feds, but this is shuffle on my target. Yeah, what was it like seven years ago or something like that? Blue Tista, right here, man. Are you doing giveaways? Yes, there will be a giveaway in this at the end. We're going to do a giveaway. I'm hoping we get a double jointed version of this. Did we not? I think we already have. It's Craven with the win. Blue Tista. What did Mike say? Contact what not if it did. Yeah, definitely contact what not. If it, if it charged you, shout out to Craven for the W on the Blue Tista. If it charged you, yeah, you definitely you definitely need to do something about that, man. 
definitely don't like that. Let's get into this. Um, I'm going to do the undisputed championship with the Cody side plates. Now, I, I'm going to preface this by saying this. There are multiple copies of this championship available, but this is the only one that's going to have Cody side plates. Now, they're not painted. This is something that you could do yourself. But this is not painted. This is going to be the unpainted Cody side plates undisputed championship. Still looks really good. It still, I think, is very serviceable. But there are undisputed championships available that aren't going to have any side plates on them. So if you want to wait on that or you want to do something with that, maybe you do want to wait. But for now, we are going to run the custom undisputed championship with the Cody side plates. I don't know why it's so damn blurry. Looks better unpainted. I've heard a lot of people say that actually. A lot of people have said that it looks, you know, it looks better unpainted, which I thought was interesting. But we have the Undisputed Championship here. I don't know. I may take whatever this goes for, maybe like slightly less or something. I don't. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there. But I have multiple of these av available. But I don't want to run an auction every single time. Or should I run an auction every single time? I'm not sure. I appreciate people just coming by, man. What are your thoughts on Drew losing again? I don't know, man. It wasn't the biggest. It's not the biggest deal to me. I didn't figure he would win anyway. I thought that was a possibility, but I didn't think that he would win. So I wasn't that outraged. I think it's crazy that they did that. But Angel Cuddy with the $69 win of the Undisputed Championship. Right there, man. Great price. Seventy. Yeah, it's always like this, man. When people buy the championships... People are always saying that it's either you're on one end, you're like, oh, absolutely worth it. Or you're like, wow, I can't believe he spent that on on a championship. So that's usually the two different ways you get there. But we do have Undisputed Championship with the Cody side plates. Now, the thing is, is that's the only championship here today that is going to be belts or <laughs> belt titles are crazy on prices at times. Yes, they definitely are. They definitely are. But that's the only one with the Cody side plates. So if the, his goal was to get the one with the Cody side plates, he secured his he secured his deal right there. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. What do you think we should do next? We do have an MDT championship right here to run an MDT championship. We also have an elite championship over here. Let's run, uh, do the world one, like the world title, the world heavyweight championship. All right. Any Cody figs? I don't think so. There may, the thing is, is once, if anybody knows this, once you, if you hang out to the end of the stream, things just start getting custom, man. We'll pull things from the wall. We'll pull, uh, usually we'll have like random things that we will auction off. So usually, usually that's how it goes. Any ultimates? Potentially. We might potentially have an ultimate. You never know what could happen out here, man. Next up, we're going to do the Da Vinci basic. We got the Da Vinci basic that looks nothing like Da Vinci. Do with that what you will. But he is here. If you want to fill that hole in the collection, we do have Da Vinci. I want one of your custom Roman Reigns. You talk about the ones in the tracksuit? Any Doms? Potentially. Potentially. Definitely potentially. Oh, did we get a tip? Where's the tip at? Pause. Appreciate the Tribal Fiend, man. Appreciate the Tribal Fiend for the dollar tip. Appreciate that. Do have Da Vinci here, man. Jimmy Dingleberry 96 wins, but his payment has failed, man. Get the payments fixed, man. Gotta have the payments fixed. The name is amazing. <laughs> WPickFed tipped $1, bro. Where's the next episode? It's coming, man. It's coming. I know I've said that, but got to just got. I I, told, I said it earlier. I don't know if you were here, but I did say I did say that it would be one of those things where it just drops out of nowhere. You're just chilling at the house one day. You're eating lunch. You're running on the treadmill. You're delivering a baby. I don't know. You're gonna look up and smell like, oh damn, the Fed dropped, and then you'll you'll be excited about it. So that'll be probably how it goes. We're rerunning Da Vinci right here. Oh, payment is successful. Oh, no, God in heaven. Wait, I actually think I have two of these. Hold up. I might have two of these. Yeah, I have, I have two of these. No worries. No worries. 
I have two of these. So, appreciate G Jimmy Dingleberry. Appreciate Jimmy Dingleberry for fixing his payment method. Didn't expect that, man. Sometimes people, their payment fails and they hit the bricks, man. They hit the bricks. But I do have two of these, so no worries. No worries at all. And li, li, I don't even know how to say that, but is payment successful? Let's go. All righty. Well, didn't expect to sell two of those, but there we go. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for the purchase of the Da Vinci. I know it's Vinci. I know it's Giovanni Vinci, okay? If payment fails, I think they can't comment. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I don't know the rules, but I don't think that's real. That sounds made up. That's a made up name. Yeah, I didn't think that. That's not. What's going on, Winter Figs, man? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I feel like Imperium as a group kind of lost like all their, their I, don't, I don't know. They just don't have the aura that they used to have, but I guess that's everybody really. <laughs> My daughter just busted in on the stream. What are you doing, crazy head? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm down, yeah. You're what? I hear a little <laughs> I hear a little knock and then she just opens the door. What a precious. Sorry about that, fellas. Sorry about that, my damn daughter. What a precious. It melts my heart and soul. Well, all righty. Sorry for the interruptions, guys. Sorry for the interruptions. You never know what's going to take place. It was storming a second ago. It is Father's Day. So it's like, it's like where the hell are you going, Brad? All righty. Let's get back in. She cashed in. You know that meme or whatever where it has... Where it's like CM Punk and it plays Damian Priest music and he looks over. That's what that was like. Do you think Super 7's overpriced? Kinda. I'd say it depends on the figure. Clinton Big, did we get a donation? Your daughter crossed the line, $5. <laughs> I appreciate that, Clinton. Daughter crossed the line. I don't think she... She never crosses the line for me, I don't think. Appreciate you, fellas. You guys are amazing. I appreciate that, Lucas. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Shout out to my damn mom right there. All right, man. Let's run. Let's run uh, LA Knight right here, Elite 108. All right. I know this figure gets a bad rep. I'd like to know down in the comment section, what do you think about him being in the Defining Moments line? What do you think about him being in the Defining Moments line? I think it was honestly an L. L pick. L pick for him being in the Defining Moments line. This figure overhated. I can see that. But this man has done nothing to deserve a dis. Oh, my God. He's done nothing to deserve a defining moments, in my opinion. When they showed that as a defining moments, I was so flabbergasted, Brad. Was flabbergasted. Didn't understand it at the slightest. Yeah, it literally could have been anything else. Yeah, there you go. I was, yeah, it, it seems like everybody's agreeing. Sounds like everybody is agreeing there. I thought the cane was also an L, to be honest. I don't think the figure's bad, but picking that into the define. Okay, cab, uh, payment fail, Brad. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll give you a, I'll give you a few minutes to fix it if you want to fix it. Cab, cab, oh seven two five one two. I'll give you a second to to fix that there. But. We're going to have to rerun that if the payment is not fixed. But yeah, man, I just didn't. I thought the cane was an L2. Just wasn't. Wasn't good, man. Wasn't good. I just don't like, like, we've had so many damn canes. You had the Ultimate Edition. You had the other Ultimate Edition. Calvin, break your legs if you don't fix your stuff. That's how I always feel. I need to hang, hang a sign right there for what in streams that says fix your payment. But. Yeah, I thought I, I thought that the the RVD and the CM Punk are pretty much perfect for the defining moments line, but yeah, I, I can also agree there. You you like, do we really need that version of RVD here? I could see that as well. Yeah, I was definitely I definitely think the first defining moments return line of four was much better than the second, and it was a really big disappointment. It's kind of like Elite One Hundred for me. 
because, you know, you go into it like, oh, I'm so excited to see this. I'm so excited to see this. And then, bam, they hit you out of nowhere. And you're like, what the hell is even that? So, yeah, you hate to see that. All right, man. I think cab, I think the payment is still failed. So we may have to, we may have to run back LA night here in a moment. Now, I think, I think my daughter's taking it as a challenge now to try to get back up the stairs and interrupt the stream again. And then she got caught and she's laughing her head off. All right. Let's go Ludwig Kaiser right here. Got my man Fig Heel. Got the Fig Heel basic. Um, Ludwig Kaiser. TSK Master, I have a fed. I'm working on a Royal Rumble right now. Well, good luck with that, man. I know that Royal Rumbles are pretty damn... They're pretty damn tough. Is this the chase? This is the chase, isn't it? I think it is. Fig heel chase basic. Love to see it. Can't tell me. Can't tell me this doesn't look like fig heel. If anybody knows who fig heel is, looks just like him. W pick fed with the win, and his payment was successful. <laughs> Got to clap it up right there. W's in the chat for W pick fed. Best of luck on your fed man because your payment method was successful. Let's go. Good stuff, fellas. Good stuff. Good stuff. Fig Hill's awesome. Would love to see a collab. Um, I did kind of a collab. I did a whole room tour of his room. It was like 30 minutes long on the channel. Advice for up and coming feds. I would say don't bite off more than you could chew. I would say be consistent. I would say look professional. That would be my three right there, man. Focus on posing. Get creative with it. Do your own thing. Don't book something just because every else, everybody else is booking it. Next up, we got three Roman Reigns basics, okay? Last time, the person that won this wanted to cancel the order. Now, look at this as a, as a Roman Reigns fodder deal, okay? Look at this as a Roman Reigns fodder deal. You're getting three basic Romans. You're getting all the gauntlets here. You're getting interchangeable hands, and you're getting the Roman Reigns head sculpts, all right? The f am I looking at? You're looking at three tribal chiefs, all right? I acknowledge you. I appreciate that. Honestly, these were sitting around and I wanted to get them the hell out of my house. So please just help me get them out of my house. Promise? Thanks. All righty. Let's go. It's just, oh no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong auction, Brad. It's just three tribal chief basics. All right. I'll give you a dirty shot. All righty. All righty. We got three Roman Reigns. Honestly, I think you could you could do something cool with these, you know? I think you could put a different custom shirt on all three of them. You could fix them up into promo Romans by removing the gauntlets, putting some different hands in there. You can use the head sculpts on other Romans. You can just use the just the gauntlets, man. Just take the gauntlets off and paint them. Put them on your elites or something. Looks like someone smeared the tattoo. I don't see any tear, tattoo smudges from here, at least, from what I'm looking at. Any Sasha Banks? No. Tanner WWW with the win and payment failed. Guys, Jesus in heaven, Christ. Brother. Come on, man. $11 for three Roman Reigns basics is actually really good, I'd say. I'd say so, too. I'm about to fight somebody. I'm about to fight somebody. Jesus. Now I gotta... I have to... At this moment, I gotta rerun like three things. I gotta rerun like three things, man. I don't have time to be rerunning things, all right? I run them the first time. Huh. Banks are blocking for first time buyers. Well, I'm about to fight the bank. I'm about to fight the bank, all right? When are we getting a blind draft of my damn daughter? Probably when she's 27. Um. Let's go. All right. My transaction went through fine. It did. And we always appreciate that. What's your thoughts on Ricochet leaving WWE? Mm, I would say best of luck to him. He'll probably go and put on some banger matches. But, I mean, I think he could have returned. I think it's cool that he, he's trying to do something else for himself, too. I understand it. All right, man. We're running the Logan Paul basic. All right. We're running the Logan Paul basic, and I'll tell you this, he does have some schmutz on his chest, all right? I got it. That's not, 
I, I didn't like that. But we're gonna we're gonna run it anyway. We have the Logan Paul basic here. I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like it's still a good base, Logan Paul. But you could use the head sculpt for sure on a, on an elite. You could fix it up, do some different promo gears or something if you wanted to do so like that. Thoughts on Ethan Page singing with WWE? I didn't know he was singing, but I'm glad that he's over there. I think that's a good pickup. I like Ethan Page, so that's cool. I think he can do a lot. I think I could see him really doing well. So we'll see what comes of that. We got Logan Paul here. Let's see what we got. It's a good basic figure, man. I'm really, I've really ever since they've created the new versions of basics, I, they've really got me hooked back on basics. I used to just despise them for a long that that you know that really terrible period of basics, and they have. They have, you know, oh my God, dude. <sighs> I think what it is, is I think people are signing up. It's It failed again. It failed again. But this is what I'm saying. I think people are, they're not having a card on their profile and then they're winning. And I think you have to, I think you have to have a card on profile or something like that in order for it to go through. Maybe I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully these people can, I think that's what's taking place, though. I think people are signing up and not adding a card, and so they're not getting their, they're not getting their fifteen dollars. Yeah, you have to have a card to bid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. Jesus Christ, mine didn't go through because it changed the date on my card. It was weird. Oh my god, this is just could it be a PayPal issue? I don't think so. Card Apple Pay for one. She just she can't bid without card. Is that true? I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I think they're trying to use the credit without having a payment method. I think because, the, but that would also trump that. Wouldn't you have to have money to buy toys? Yeah, right. I know. My payment will fail. Put some more belts up. <laughs> Woo. All right. You know what? Somebody. Somebody PayPal me ten bucks and I'll give you this Logan this Logan Paul. You gotta put your shipping address in there though. They're trying to use their Brad Bucks. That actually is hilarious. Brad Bucks would actually be a really funny like you gotta put in real money and you get fifteen hundred Brad Bucks to use. That's absolutely hilarious. Mokemon theme park next. Somebody just texted me randomly, bro, do you know what the SDCC exclusive is this year? And I actually don't. I do not know it at this moment. You're supposed to have a card with enough funds to have their transactions processed. I've had my $15 credit for months until I used it this evening. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I think too, man. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't know the exclusive this year, but all these payment methods failing is making me upset. <sighs> Christ. I'm just going to rerun all these things at the end. I guess let's run. Um, I'm going to run an MDT title. I'm running an MDT championship. The reason I'm bummed out is just because I like, I don't know. I feel like it just brings down everybody's vibe, man. Like people, we're just trying to hang out have a good time, add to our action figure collections. And then you can't even, you know what I'm saying? It's it like stifles the flow of the stream. So, I don't know. Anyway, we're running this MDT championship. It looks pristine, man. It looks pristine. I love I love the way the championship came out. All the custom logos and stuff just look beautiful. I think it looks so good. Travis Lowe colorways. I don't think I don't think so. I only have the one colorway. I would like some other colorways, but that the what is it? The mochas. The mochas are the only ones I have at the moment. Mike Tyson Ultimate. I doubt it. I absolutely doubt it. But I guess anything's possible. Anything is possible. Mavs in seven, bro. Mavs in seven. If the Mavericks complete the comeback, I am getting a Dallas Mavericks or Luka Doncic theme tattoo. That will be taking place. I will be doing that. So we'll have to see. Still need a gosh dang Jimmy King. I have a head sculpt that I've had forever. And I... um. I haven't been able to figure out a formula, man. Can you auction a Luca? Yes, but the payment will probably fail. But yeah, if the Maver if the Mavericks come back, man, did a hundred dollars for this championship is actually crazy. I appreciate the the support, man. You guys are 
this payment will absolutely fail. God, dude, I hope not. Just for the sake of the, just for the sake of the, all right, Dom. Payment successful. You know what? Just because of the pay, the payment succession and the fact that it, you paid over a hundred bucks for an NDT title. This man is getting, you're getting bonus items. You're getting bonus items. Q, shout out to Dom Dom. You deserve live after that one, Brad. That's good stuff. I didn't care about the money. I'm just glad that it's successful. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Damn. I believe in successful payments. Oh, man. Dom credit score just went up. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, the chat never fails to make me laugh. It's so funny. All right. Undertaker next? Yeah, you know what? I don't... Everything I run now, I, I feel like I'm setting myself up for payment failure. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Crazy eyes. Crazy eyes. Undertaker. Elite. Let's go. Uh, this is a goat fig. All right. Failed payments could be a heel tag team. I actually like that. You put bum, you could put bum trash Corbin, you know, like when he was down on his luck. And then uh, who else would go in there? Who else would go in there, man? Somebody that like, I don't know. I'm sure y'all could have some really funny suggestions down in the comment section, but imagine that. Bummy down on his luck, trash Corbin, failed payment. That'd be funny. Bobby Trashley. I don't know. Bobby, dude, Bobby be dressing up nice, man. Bobby looks good. I don't know about Bobby. Heath Slater. Yeah, that would be funny because he's got kids. The I got kids stuff would be funny. We're like in this weird CM Collector. Did you fix your payment, bud? Did you fix your payment? Because if, yeah, I got it. Okay, perfect. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. The Fluffinator Brian with the payment successful. Hell yeah, brother. Appreciate the Fluffinator, man. That's a patron member. I appreciate you, brother. You're amazing. This Undertaker Elite, man, it's so good from the neck down for me. I just think the goofy head sculpts, while it looks just like him, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's two in a row. We're on a hot streak now. We're like the Mavs. We're trying to get a streak going. We're trying to come back in the series. With the payment success, payment failures, we were getting our A kicked, and now I think we're, we may be on the come up. Make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. I don't think anybody actually purchased the Roman Reigns basic, so you know what that means. We're back with Roman Roman Reigns basic army. We're going to run this. Seth next. He's not yelling. Mouth is just open. Maybe. Celtics in five? No shot. Oh, I like that, Brian. I like that. That's a good... I would like to see that. I like Ted DBS Jr., but with everything going on, he just fits for fail payment. Oh, I see what you did there, Brad. I see what you did there. That's good stuff. All right. Don't forget, we do have patron packages available. If you guys are interested in that, we do have patron packages available. That is going to include the autographed card here it's got like graphics on the back so it's like a thank you card with an autograph and then it does have a crowd sign for your arena and it comes with a sticker it's usually only patron exclusive for extreme division members but we do make them available and whatnot streams for the most part so if you guys want to purchase one of those i'd greatly appreciate it roman basics again we're running this back and we are going Appreciate you fellas for purchasing one. Sorry, I was editing an auction, so if you guys bought one, I really, really appreciate it. Look at that. I got a damn typo in the listing. What are we doing? Get your shish together, man. $13, higher than the last time. But for me, I just, you know, if you want one of these Roman Reigns gauntlets, you have to buy a full figure. So I think it's worth it for the gauntlets, but I like to make weird custom Roman Reigns and stuff. So, that, I mean, maybe that's a me problem. I'm not sure, but... Dakota 1267. Will his payment be successful? God. Jesus in heaven, man. Ah. <sighs>
My goodness. My goodness, man. <sighs> it's like, it's like, uh, you know, when Woody reads the damn eight ball, it's like, is Andy going to pick me to go to Pizza Planet? Don't count on it. Oh. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to come back to it again. I am about to have a connection. If you're still in the chat, who bought the Logan Paul? Did it actually go through? I can't even check and see if it went through. I wish a mod could see if it went through. I think it did. It's always one hundred fifteen. They're trying to use the credit, and I get that, man. I totally understand that. I totally understand that. Like it does make sense, especially when. Okay, Logan did. If, for me, it's kind of like, like I get it totally. You know, they're pushing it. It's like, oh, you get this $15 free. It's like, oh, well, yeah, then I'm going to come through. And then, oh, you got to put a card on, on, you got to put a card on your thing. It's like, oh, what the hell is this? You said I got $15 free. But then it's just for the sake of able to do it. I, I don't know. Uh, if, do you smell what I'm stepping in there? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to pay shipping. Yeah, but. I understand that too, but you should still like, what if you want an item? Would it fail if the item went for, if they went and bought a patron package right now, would it fail automatically? I don't know. If you have one of the, if you have a $15 credit and you pay for the, I don't know. I, let's just shut the hell up and keep going. How about that? How about we just move the hell on? How about that? LA night still pending. Okay. I know there's tax and shipping, but I don't know. Anyway, Elite 109, Seth freaking Rollins. Let's get my man in here. Stu Bennett started following me. I don't know. I don't think it's that Stu Bennett. It's not spelled the same way, but we do have Elite. Bro's going to need a vacation after this. You're telling me, Brad. You're telling me. No, but. Run a custom world title with the side plate, like the regular side plate, or the, I think that's all we have left, so I guess that's what you're saying. This is why he only does it once a month. Bro, does it tell y'all that the payment failed too, or is it only me? Oh my god. Well, Brad... You get not the you don't get the championship. You don't get the championship, but you do get the interchangeable hands with this figure. However, you know what? It says it says your payment it says your payments failed. What if I ran this with this? What if I ran the championship with the Seth Rollins Elite 109? So then you would get a better version of the championship. It just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have the, the Seth Rollins side plates, but at least you would get a championship. <sighs> God dang, man. Very frustrating. Mom said, thanks, Brad. I'm glad, I'm glad she enjoys the, enjoys the, the rhetoric there, man. Lord in heaven, I am stumped as hell, man. I'm I'm feeling deflated. I'm feeling deflated right now. <sighs> if I run them damn Roman Reigns basics one more time and that shish fails, I don't know what, what am I gonna what am I gonna do, man? Take a dinner break? No, man. No, we're pushing through. We gotta get this thing going. But all right. If you are hearing this, yeah, the giveaway, the giveaway of pet payment failed. Can't accept it. The payment failed. Yeah, it does ruin them. Porter is going to be left with three Roman bases. I'll throw them the hell out in the yard before I keep these basics. You know what? All right. We're running. We're running an elite championship. We're running an elite championship. Here we go. Like, at this point, I don't even know. I don't even know what's available. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what's available now. There's been so much shish. I don't even know what is anything available. Now, just to keep it 
in perspective, there are more than just this one championship. All right. There's multiple copies. So just keep that in mind. We do have, I think we have three of these available, if I'm not mistaken. We have three of the Elite Championship. But it's a beautiful looking title. It looks great on such championship holders as Finn Balor and Kenny Omega. And then you could, I guess you could put it as your, you could put it in your Fed if you wanted to. But Elite title does look good. I like this. I know it's the same. A lot of the the, the Fed titles do have that same you know, templates, like the templates are the same, but, you know, we changed up a lot of the graphics and designs. <sighs> All righty. I appreciate it, Christian. Wrestle Toy Man is rating with a party of four. I appreciate that, man. Elite title. Elite title. Appreciate that, Toy Mania. Appreciate you, brother. W Belt. Payment fails the new game. Dom 89. Dom 89. We know Dirty Dom is going to be successful. Let's go, man. Dirty Dom. Dirty Dom's MVP right now. Dirty Dom is MVP. Dom is the hero, man. So me and uh me and Dan have our own agreement. So I don't I don't get 100% of any funds that takes place. Let's go, Dom. Yeah, Dom's in the world full of darkness. He really is, man. He really is. Right now, I don't think Dan is taking orders. But it's just it's not his full time job, you know. He's not he's not doing this full time or something like that. Dom got mo. Yeah, Dom's looking good out here, man. Dom's crushing it. Can we do figure fodder next? I don't know. Can we, Brad? Can we do figure fodder next? I'm pretty sure. Happy Father's Day. Appreciate that, man. Happy Father's Day to you as well. But I'm pretty sure the damn weapon lot, I'm pretty sure it failed too, man. Pretty sure the weapon lot failed. So that is a bummer. LA Knight failed. When the next video dropping? It's going to drop tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. I wanted to upload today, but didn't happen, man. Am I going to the NBA draft? Where the hell's the NBA draft? Okay, you bought the weapon lot, but it is canceled. Okay, I will cancel that, Ninja. I will cancel that. So, anybody interested in the weapon lot? I got to move for a second because I got to get this fodder lot because the fodder lot's actually big. The fodder lot actually, we got a lot going on with that. I meant to move it earlier. God dang. My mind is just a piece of shish today. Lord. I gotta empty this. I gotta empty this box and move all this. Christ on a bike. I wish I was home to at least have a chance at the weapon lot. Yeah, I appreciate that, AZ. I appreciate that. I gotta scoop all this fodder into this box right here, and then I'll put it one on one on screen so you guys can know exactly what you're getting. I think it's a pretty good pieces. So if you're a customizer or you think you can use any pieces of this, it should be, I think it's pretty worth it. I think it's pretty worth it, but you guys can be the judges. It's just a lot of fodder that I had sitting around and I'm like, I have no use for this, man. Get it the hell out of my house. <laughs> nah, I mean, like I get it. Like I can, I can understand any headlots. Yeah, I actually do. I have one. I have one headlot. That's a weird sentence. I don't like that. Um, my birthday was a couple of days ago. Happy birthday to Sean! All right, here's the here's the custom lot. All right, all right. Here we go. We have this elite fodder of Cedric Alexander. Now again, just take it piece by piece, man. It's not got a lot of random shish going on. We have this like pretty much full elite AJ Styles. With some gloved hands. It's just like a random figure you could break down. It's got the Elite 51 head sculpt on there. We have this SummerSlam Sean fodder that you could use for something. We have this Unrivaled Sting fodder. 
Like again, this is all in one lot now. This is all in one lot. We're gonna put this here because I think I'm gonna need these tables on the sides right here potentially. We have this Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins body. We have this Cena piece. We got Defining Moments Ric Flair. We have this Beat to Hell Cesaro, but like the tor like the torso is kind of cracked and it's also very faded, but the crotch down is pretty usable, I'd say. Try my best to describe everything here so you can, you know, you can kind of make your judgment call there. We got this Sting basic body deal. Just lay it right there. Top pick Seth Rollins without the legs. This random LA Knight basic with the elite head sculpt on it that sits way too damn high on it. Got an elite AJ Styles. Another Elite AJ Styles. Elite 42 Neville, I think it was. We have Elite 90 Randy Orton. Got some knee pads. You know, some different stuff going on there. We got this Matt Riddle fodder without the lower legs. He's got the damn Kalisto arms. What the hell were they doing over there, man? Just trash. We have this... Cesaro Elite Lower with white boots for some damn reason. I don't know. This one's kind of cool. We got this Defining Moments Undertaker Lower. Just a random, random piece right there. We have some Rock Lowers right here. Elite 64 Rollins Pieces. We got some damn... Tyler Breeze lower legs and boots for whatever reason. And I think that's it. So, all righty, man. This is <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any Ospreys? No, I wish. I really do need a really good, I need a really good Will Ospreay custom. But you get all that. You got everything right there, man. I don't really know what to judge fodder on. It's very tough because if you were to try to get different pieces, you know, it will, it'll cost quite a bit, I'd say. But at the same time, you know, some of the pieces are broken down. Some of them are loose. You know, there's different things going on, but it's sizable fodder, man. If you're count, if you're constantly customizing, fixing up, doing different things like that, I would say that this is a pretty valuable lot. You know, if you're a customizer, absolutely. What's your favorite Kane figure? I'd say the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition or the second Ultimate Edition. They're both very good. Balor Cub 21 with the win and payment was successful. We need the damn family feud thing. You know what I'm saying? Payment is. Bing. And then the crowd goes wild. Or no, that, that, that would be family feud. Deal or no deal could be like. There's a lady up there. It's like my wife's standing up there with a briefcase. And then we point to her and she's like, mm, she opens it up. And it's like, oh, and he goes, Ch -ch -ch -ch, when it says failed. Anyways, I'll see myself out. All right. We do have our, we have our fodder lot. It is successful. Thank God. Thank, thank the Lord Jesus Christ. That is a good day. Now, I can't remember. The LA Knight failed, the Seth Rollins failed, the Roman Reigns basic lot failed. Am I correct on that? Am I is that is that correct? Right or wrong? Correct. All right, we're gonna rerun all of that, but I want to do that at the end. I want to keep going with the stuff that we already have here, and then we will get into it. So I want to start straight. Like, how can a how can you how can you? How can a WWE action figure creator stream? I would love to like stream, you know, two or three times a week, just like on Twitch or something. What would you do? Get on there and customize, or get on there and fed? But then you'd like spoil stuff, or I guess you could like aim the camera at me while I'm fedding or something. That could actually be a way you get stuff done. But then you kind of you might. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna run the headlot next. We're gonna run the headlot next. Let me just talk figs. You could do that. I want to do a podcast. I've been in the backgrounds kind of working on that, but 
basically do action figure surgery live on Twitch. That could work. And then what turn the turn the live sessions into videos as action figure surgery, like chop up the stream into surgery. That could be a thing. All righty. I'm going to set this other stuff. We're going to do the head lot now. And you could stream like some live fixing, like hospital students looking down on a surgery. Yeah, I guess that would, that would be, uh, that could be a thing. That could be a thing for sure. Mike, the co-host for podcasts. I think you could, I think you could do it. And Anthony, I think you could also play a part in it, regardless of what that is. You know what I mean? I don't know what that looks like exactly, but I think both of you would suffice for, for guys, because I think you'd be passionate enough about it so I could support that. You know what I mean? I think you guys have enough passion for what I'm trying to do here. So that's, that's one of the big things there. Rerun Seth, LA and I, Roman Basics and Weapons Lot. Yeah, I like that. I like that. AZ, AZ Victoria, appreciate that, brother. I dropped one of the head sculpts and I can't find it. So if I find it before I ship, I'll throw Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, man. Let's take a look. This head lot's actually pretty damn big, and there's some really good heads in here. So if you're a customizer or you like to fix up or you like to do those different things, man, I think you're going to enjoy this. I think you're going to enjoy what we got going on. All righty. So let's get in here. Let's go through all of the heads that are going to be available in this head lot. Shout out to Jordan, man. I appreciate you. We have Kyle O'Reilly. It's a good head sculpt right there. This one's really cool, man. This is a custom Rey Mysterio head sculpt that I just never finished. I was going for a fa I was creating this face. This is my own custom Rey Mysterio mat. Like, I was going to create a full head-to-toe attire, and I never finished it, but it was looking pretty good. I liked it, and it was it was going, and then uh, I changed course and never came back to it. But you can see the stripes and the black and white. I, I wanted to make like a black and white attire with some different accents. I think I saw a Rey Mysterio logo or something, and it kind of messed it up. But we do have that Rey Mysterio mask. Maybe you can use that on something. We have this Elite 67, I think it is, Randy Orton head sculpt. Got Macho Man. Ringside exclusive Shane McMahon. You could do something with that. His head sculpt's massive for some reason. We got Legend Killer Randy Orton. We got Kurt Football Hawkins. We have this random Elite 34 Hulk Hogan head sculpt with the black bandana. Somebody custom painted that. I got that in a fodder lot one time, like a decade ago, I think, or close to it. We have a Matt Riddle head sculpt, arguably his best head sculpt he ever had. We have a Bray Wyatt. On eBay, this would be $200. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We have a Kofi Kingston. Eyes are kind of messed up on that. We have Kurt Angle. This is a really good head sculpt right here. Quarter room Hogan. <laughs> we have uh, Matt Hardy. Is that ringside exclusive, Matt Hardy? Maybe. I can't remember off the top of the dome. Maybe SummerSlam Elite. We got Goldberg. We have... Hacksaw with the tongue out. We got my man Dolph Ziggler in there. Son of a bitch, Goldberg. We got Rey Mysterio. Any John Moxley's? I don't think so. Got Elite 51 AJ Styles. God dang it, AJ Styles. That was actually my fault. We got Bobby Heenan. We got Brian Pillman. I thought about selling these individually, but then didn't. So somebody's going to walk out of here cashing in the money in the bank. We got Neville or Pac. You can put that on one of your damn unrivaled Pacs. We got Hurricane. Damn Hurricane. We got Gold Standard Shelton Benjamin. You know what? I have a few more heads. We're gonna run that in its own lot. This is our first. We're gonna we're gonna run two different head lots. So this is the first one. All these heads you see on the table can be yours, man. 
there you go. Any customizers you want to fix up, you want to do some different things, maybe you got some ideas as you were, you know, going through there, you can go ahead and, and purchase that. You don't have to buy any basic figures now, man. You don't have to buy any figures. All right, Mike, let's chill out. Let's chill out. I call that Kurt Angle head Caillou. Not bad. Happy birthday to Gabe, man. Happy birthday to Gabe. Y'all got this. Yeah, don't F this up, man. W pick fat. I think he bought something beforehand. And it's successful. Let's F and go, man. Let's go. That is excellent. I think $30 for all those heads is a steal. That's less than a... Is that a dollar a head? That might have been... You may have just nailed that. It's close to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's like 20, 21, something like that. No, you're good, man. You're good. I'm just glad... I don't care if everything sells for a dollar. The fact that they're successful is what we're going to hang our hat on. We'll live with that all day. All right. That's head lot number one. Let's run head lot number two, I guess. That way it can just be over and done with, and we don't have to think about it anymore. We have this Vince McMahon head sculpt. Which is a pretty, I feel like this is a pretty rare head sculpt nowadays. We have a Zack Ryder slash Matt Cardona. We have this Miz that when I look at it, I just think of Vindication and get sad. We have the Ringside Exclusive Edgeheads, Brian, ha Brian, you know what I'm talking about. You, you know what I'm saying. All right. Got this smirky Cesaro head sculpt, which is arguably his best head sculpt they've ever made. Got that one in there. We have Adam Pierce, I mean, bald Shawn Michaels. We have the Elite 70 Finn Balor. I kind of customized this a little bit. I made it more accurate, so you can put this on your Elite set. It looks way better than the damn original one that Mattel gave us. So if you have the Elite 70 Finn Balor, this would be a really good, a really good replacement. Yeah, that could be Nick Gage. I could see that. We have this custom Bret Hart head sculpt made by BEW. I actually sent him this because I wanted to make a George Washington, but we, he never like got my notes on it. So he just painted it up and sent it back. And I was like, what the hell is this? And he's like, oh, I thought you just wanted that painted. And then it, so it's just it's BW painted George Washington, Bret Hart. So you can, you know, put that on a Bret Hart or something. I don't know. You can do something with that. I, it's my fault. I never gave him notes. He just fixed it up and sent it back. We have a Defining Moments Hogan. So you got that in there. Elite 47B Gold Dust. That figure goes for astronomical prices nowadays. We have this Santa Claus head sculpt. Eric Rowan. Santa Claus Eric Rowan. We have this weird... Oh, I thought it was the weird Alexa Bliss. It's a good Alexa Bliss head sculpt. We have... What else we got? We got Kevin Owens. This is a good one. This may sell a lot. We have this CM Punk with long hair. You could put this on a slew of different figures. This is a good head sculpt right here. So we do have the CM Punk. We have Daniel Bryan smiling. And then we have uh, Tully Blanchard. So there you go. There's your headlight number two. And... We will run this lot. Burger King Brian. That's actually a fantastic name for that. Good, good snack right there, sir. That's a that's a fantastic name for that. So we're gonna go head lot number two. Again, man, if you are a customizer or you like to fix your figures up, you do surgeries and things like this, wonderful opportunity for you to pick up. These heads right here. And I think, which which lot you think is better? You think lot one was better? You think lot two was better? You think lot two? Interesting. Facts, Winter Figs. Facts. Lot two because of Punk. There, Those are some great selection of head sculpts. I think so. Santa Rosa. Yeah, you do have some good stuff in here. You got the Vince. You got the Cesaro. The Finn Balor. The Bret Hart. Got some. They got the CM Punk. 
the Ray head. Yeah, I wish I would have finished that figure, man. Really wish I would have finished that figure. I think it, it would have been good. I was really excited about it, and I never finished it. And now if I want to do it again, I'm going to have to redo it. Damien, his payment was successful, Brad. Good stuff, man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you. Also, it is worth mentioning you should do a Spider-Man Ray. If I make a Spider-Man Ray, it'll actually be a Spider-Man Ray. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. If I make a Spider-Man Ray, the shit should be Spider-Man, all right? All right. We haven't, we haven't taken a sip of the Diet Doozy in a minute, so we do. Hey, man, when's the WrestleMania vlog coming out? I do need to finish that, man. It's actually not, not far from being done. I just haven't finished it, but it is almost done. I know it's been over a month. I need to get that done. All right, I'm going to take this break right here and get a sip. That's quality. That's quality. It's sitting. It was sitting on the floor. That's why I haven't probably been taking breaks to take it. Dom is your new MDT World Champion. I don't know about that one, but he is. He is a good, valuable contributor. All right, what the hell else do we have? Let's run. Any boxing customs? I do not. Weapon lot? Oh, man. We're going to run this fix-up ray because I'm sick of looking at it. And you know what's dumb? is You remember when I made those custom MDT rays? I made one that was better. I had a better idea, and I made it come to life. And then, I don't know if you guys saw my short on YouTube where my arena was destroyed. That the the new version of that is somewhere in this room buried underneath something. I could not find it, man. I could not find it. So we're going to be getting this fix up elite Ray Mysterio. There are there's a little schmutz on the left. Okay, that's not there, but there there's a schmutz right there. I'm gonna get that off, so don't worry about that. I will get that off. But this is just a random fix up Ray Mysterio. It is not anything crazy. Again, I took the blue and then reversed. It was just God. It was so quality, man, and it's gone. I can't find it, so I don't. I don't know what the hell. Can you do a giveaway again? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to do a giveaway at the end. Beast Banna twenty five, and his payment was successful. Thank you, Jesus in heaven. All right. So there's a reverse of this Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I'm going to rerun the Seth. I'm going to rerun the Seth, but there are other options that I need to get through, but. There's another version of this Rey Mysterio that was 10 times better than this, but I cannot find it, man. I can't find I don't know what the hell happened. So, you hate to see that. Yes, I will absolutely make the giveaway international, brother. We'll absolutely do that. I forgot that one time. Devastated me. All right. Next up, we're going to run this white basic Seth right here. God, I wish this was an elite. Why isn't this an elite? Jesus. Why wasn't this an elite? Makes me vomit. All right. We have this white basic Rollins, and we are running it. The Dom guy has been removed. Alrighty, Mike. If you saw a problem, I trust your I trust your judgment, brother. Trust your judgment. How do you win the giveaway? All you will have to do is just be in the chat, and it'll say enter giveaway. You just enter it. It's not anything crazy. It's nothing too too difficult there. Ten bucks, that's a good flat rate right there. Well, I'm glad, Beast. I'm glad you got that. Do you know what you'll give away? I have a couple ideas, but it's not concrete. And I wanna I don't want to commit to anything without having, you know, some things in, you know, in stone. I knew it. God dang it. Hmm. Payment fail, Brad. Elite 112 Rollins is very disappointing. Yes, it is. You know what? You know what? You know what? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. There we go. We'll we'll fix it. It touches it and it fills it. Here we go. Seth Lot. Man, 
I apologize, fellas. I apologize. Here we go. We're just going to run it like this. I, I apologize, fellas. I'm sorry. Swap those heads, Brad. Well, that'll be up to the perp. That, that'll be up to the people that purchase. Good God in heaven. <laughs> Man said, "Never mind. I don't need the bag." You know what made me laugh my ass off? Payment successful. Let's go. Good job, Christian. Good job. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. But when they posted that ringside exclusive Undertaker as Kane, holy shish. And somebody said, put it back in the vault. I actually cackled out loud, man. I actually cackled out loud. Happy Father's Day. Absolutely. Put it back in the vault. That shish, man. I was legitimately cackling out loud. Huge shout out to Christian, man. That was a big purchase right there. Yeah, dude. That You know when you get on TikTok or something and you read the comments? The comments, yeah, more happy about the payment going through. Absolutely. The comments are funnier than the damn video most of the time, man. That stuff will just make you just, oh my lord, it's just so funny. All righty. You know what we're going to do? Instead of rerunning the Roman basics, I got something for you, Brad. We're going to combine this Roman Reigns basic lot. We're going to have two promo gear man bun head sculpts, and we're going to throw all of those other three in there. So now you get five Roman Reigns basics, two of them man bun, three of them long hair. You get three gauntlets. You get two promo gear Roman Reigns. There you go. We'll fix our Roman Reigns basic lot bullshish right there. How about that, man? Now you get five of them. Let's throw them to the yard. Yeah, they're going to. If you're a customizer, you if you're a Roman Reigns guy, if you just want some figures to fix up, you could buy custom clothes to put on these. You could repaint those shirts back there that say smash, stack, and pin. You could repaint those, put a different decal on there. There's different options you could do there, but this is a good fodder lot here for Roman Reigns. $21, Rick. Don't fail me, Rick. Don't fail me, Rick. Yes, Rick. Yes. Good job, Brad. Good job. Any tips for starting a pick fed? I think I included some tips earlier. Five, dude, five basic Romans for 21 bucks is great. That's good stuff. Good job, Rick. Common Rick W. But in terms of, I would say in terms of the, yeah, consistencies up there, I would say you want to look professional, focus on your posing. Don't make them look all stiff, man. Make them look good. Make them look good. Alrighty, let's go. We sold the the fodder lot. What the hell? What else we got over here? I know there's more than that. It's not just mystery items. I want to say there was something else. Wasn't that wasn't that the weapons lot? There was a weapons lot, and there was something else. La Knight. That's it. All right. All right. La Knight. Here we go. We're going to go LA Knight Elite 108, which was a bummy wave, man. A bummy wave. Didn't like the... Didn't like the wave. Didn't like the wave at the slightest. And I got... I got a defense for all of them. In terms of... Like, I could... I feel like I could fight that case in court. Yeah, it's a derpy head sculpt. Huge shout out to Paxton, man. Appreciate you. Also, really dope ride on in your profile pic. That's dope. Alrighty. Does the fig come with the mic? Does the fig come with the mic, say from ringside or just on shelves? I'm confused. I don't know what that means. The man jeer? 
Payment successful, brother. Payment successful. Good job. I think it came with the figure, didn't it? Didn't this microphone come with the figure? I'm including it. Appreciate that, Braden. Appreciate you, fellas. I don't know what's happening, but something... Something is very loud. I don't know what that is. All righty. Probably my daughter trying to get up the stairs or something. Mm. Hey, what's that? No, yeah, exactly. I had no idea what that was. All righty. I, are we on a streak now? Run your figure? Oh, man. I've been watching you since I was eight. Now I'm 13. I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Weapons lot. All righty. I probably could do some PWR Lucha or some custom clothing. I have plenty that I could probably move. We'll see about that probably for next stream. There is going to be another stream next month. And I want it to be, it's going to be better than this one for sure. I apologize. I feel like we've had so many hiccups in this one. And I do apologize, but we're just going to keep running it, man. Should be a fun one, but let's get all this shish back up here. I'm not going to be as dramatic about this weapon slot again, but God in heaven, man, please make it good. Here we go. We got a ladder. You get the brown table. You get a referee shirt, a breakaway cinder block. You get the lunch tray with the face indention. You get the silver chair. You get the silver chair. You get the black chair. You get the AEW Unrivaled chair. You get three crutches, two of which are silver, one is brown. We get... A kendo stick, you get the knights, or the battalion of the baton, or whatever the hell it's called. Is it police bat? Whatever you want to say. You get the baseball bat, you get the sledgehammer, which is here. You get the breakaway guitar, and you get the CM Punk megaphone. So there you go. You get all of that in the weapon slot. Any more titles? Yes, we do have actually a lot of titles. That's probably, we have actually a lot of titles. And I don't know, what's that black chair on the table? This is a AEW Jazzwares table, or uh, chair, I'm sorry. All righty, let's go. I may I may put up the titles as buy now, and then instead of like running a bunch of auctions back to back to back of the championships, I may just put them all up on buy now and put what's available, and then first come, first serve, whoever gets them, gets them. Let me know what you guys think about that. You think it should auction them or make it where it's just mass chaos running to buy the titles and the buy it now? You can let me know. Alrighty, man. I apologize if the thing's shaking and whatnot. But I'm typing on the thing. Here we go. Weapon lot rerun. Auction by now. Mass chaos, please. Auction by now. By now, by now, by now. Oh, yeah. Auction. I don't know. It's difficult. Can you throw in a Jey Uso figure shirt? I cannot, man. I don't really have a... Don't really have... So you want me to put everything in the... You want to put the titles in the buy it now and then be like, oh, go, go, go. Christian won the auction and Christian's payment was successful, man. Let's go. Alrighty, well, I guess I can see what I can do. I guess it'll just depend on like what would be fitting, but... I need to sort out these titles, but good shish, man. Good shish. Got the. It went for a few more dollars more, I think, than it did last time. Which, for my mental health, I guess is good. But that's a good weapon lot right there. Again, man, if you were to try to buy that on on uh, eBay, you wouldn't have been able to get that for thirty five bucks. People be charging crazy prices. You could do half buy now, half auction. Yeah, I could possibly do that. I could possibly do that. Let's uh let me let me sort these out real quick. Let me do this behind the scenes. All right, so I'm trying to just make sure I want to make sure that I have my counts correct before listing anything. I think we have some other things too. Hold up. All right, let's go. All righty. Okay. Oh man. Let's go. MDT's fig fed return is going to feed families. Well, they've been starving for a long time, man. So uh, we got to feed somebody, hopefully. But 
Let's get. Was there anything else we needed to rerun, Mike? It's going to come out after Shrek 5. You mean what date will be the next whatnot stream? I would say probably. I'd have to. I'll have to get back with you. I cannot. It would probably be sometime after the Fourth of July. Probably because I'm. Gonna, I know I'm going on a trip at some time around there, and I want to make sure that I'm back before you know all of that goes down. But let's go, dude. If we don't get, we got to get the Fed return, though, man. We really do. Got to get the Fed return. All righty. Mike, was there anything else that we needed to that we needed to rerun before we before we needed to uh, move on to mystery items or anything like that? All righty. Well, right now, right now we're going to go into the, we're going to go into mystery item number one and we're going to get it going here. Let's see. Mystery item number one. Make sure that I have this shish and freaking... Hold up. God dang it. Why is this not working? What in the hell? What in the hell just happened? Well, I guess before I could... Uh, hold up. Before I could uh, really even tell you guys, we had the new heavyweight titles sold. So these just sold. Three of these just sold. I try. I tried my best to try and get it get it going, but they did sell. Three of them did sell just that quickly. So damn, hate to see it. Well, all right, the three world heavyweight championships are gone for now. Yeah, we have undisputed left. We have undisputed left. That was just the world titles. They were just the world titles. Let's run mystery item number one. Let's get into. I got to bring back the rotating base right here. We're gonna bring back the rotating base. Mystery item number one is going to be one of my favorite Mattel figures of all time, and one of my favorite Mattels of all time is going to be the Chase Elite Seventy Dolph Ziggler man with the jacket. Look at this beast right here, man. Mystery item number one is one of the best WWE elites ever. At least to me. It's one of my favorite elites ever. We have Dolph Ziggler. Is the SummerSlam 24 Build-A-Figure set with John Cone worth retail price? Yes. For sure. Yeah, I would say so. Um, was that my favorite wave? No, but I would say at this moment, yeah, they're still worth retail. For sure. Yeah, this figure is beautiful, dude. It's The pink on it is so saturated. It stands out so well. It's a great figure. Absolute peace. Absolute peace right now. Cash Tutty going for the 50 bomb on the Ziggler, and he's going to get it, Brad. Is this payment successful? It is. Bang. Good stuff. So we do have a Chase. Chase Dolph Ziggler will be going to Cash Tutty, and thank God that his actual payment method was successful. So we always appreciate that. We always love a good payment succession. All righty, so Ziggler is gone. Really love that. Now, we're getting into mystery item number two. And this item was actually... It was actually created on action figure surgery. So if that means anything to you, there's that. But if it doesn't, then you can say, who gives a shit, Brad? Who cares? All right. Mystery item number two is going to be this fix-up ultimate bald Batista in this fix-up white fantasy attire. I don't know. Just something cool. Got bald Batista. So this is going to be mystery item number two. This was made on action figure surgery. Again, if that means anything to you, well, get it going. If it doesn't, well, then just let it let it go, I guess. But yeah, I just, I, I said it in that action figure surgery after I made it. I was like, just wasn't hitting. Just wasn't really hitting for me personally. But, you know, 
you were extra bored? You think you think it looks crappy too, Mike? I know Mike Mike's been on the fix up game. I don't remember if I was the one that brought you. Was I the one that brought you to the fix up game, Mike, or were you kind of going that way anyway, or were you like, eh, uh, or were you like, look at Because I, when I look at figures, the first thing I think of is, oh, I can fix this up or change this and make it into a completely new figure. Alberto with the win, and Alberto with the complete W on the payment succession. You love to see that. So he is walking out of here with this fix-up. You're bugging since like 2012 and using my awful hair dryer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But sometimes you do post stuff that I'm like, that's good stuff, Mike. Good job. All right, we're going to take a break for a sip of the Diet Dew, which will also be auctioned off at the end. I just broke my Heath Slater arm when I was swapping. Mm. Mm. Hate to see it. All righty. Are we on mystery item number three? Mystery item number three. This one actually saddens me, but I feel like it's a good whatnot item. I feel like this is a good whatnot item for mystery item number three. We're going with Elite 108 Brock Lesnar with the honeycomb box of cereal. With the honeycomb box of cereal, man. So, yep. Hate to see it. Yep, honeycomb mouth Brock Lesnar is going to be leaving the collection. Saddens me. The giveaway will be at the end, man. The giveaway will be at the end, I promise. Mystery item number three will be Brockethy Lesnar with the honeycomb. I don't expect this to really be worth a damn, but, you know, kind of like Batista. It was kind of made on actually, it, it's not made enough. No, this is the Elite 108 Brock Lesnar. It's Honeycomb Mouth Brock Lesnar. That's what the Elite 108 is. So, you know, kind of a meme of the channel, if you will, or whatever you want to say. How'd you make that cereal box? It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. You go on eBay and you and you buy it. <laughs> no, it is. It's a mini. It's a mini brands, I think. If the payment fails, it's destined to sell me the cereal box. Where's Dean smoking behind the gymnasium? We can't ever get rid of smoking behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. Even though, my God, dude, he looks like he shopped at Journeys. You know what I'm saying? And I shopped at Journeys, but you know what I'm saying. You get you smell him when I'm stepping in. We got Brock Lesnar with the honeycomb mouth. Aunt Frank 313. And the payment was successful. I'd love to see it. Okay, it's Journeys is not a bad store. It's just, I know, it's smoking behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose, Matt absolutely shops at Journeys, all right? If he has any money, that is. We have, let's see, how I enter the giveaway. So when I say the giveaway's live, it'll pop up a little box and it'll say enter the giveaway. And all you have to do is click it and it'll automatically enter you into the giveaway. It's nothing you have to do on your end. It should be really simple and easy. So there is that. But that was history, mystery item number three. Now we're getting into mystery item number four. And mystery item number four should be very good. Should be a good one. Uh, any guesses? Any guesses on what mystery item four could be? I don't, I don't think you're going to get it. It's kind of an outside-the-box item. kind of a mystery it's kind of an outside the box item i don't think you're gonna get it man i don't think you're gonna get it no i don't think so but right now there's an mdt title available right now in the buy it now it's available right now it's available mdt championship is available there's only one of them left Great 81 with the purchase of the MDT Championship. Locked it down. Wow. Good W's, man. Good W's right there. Something figure-related. It's always figure-related, man. If it's on this stream, it's going to be figure-related. All righty. Mystery item four. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done anything like this before. I think this is a pretty awesome mystery item. We're giving away a Vindication commentary table. This is completely like the one you see on any MDT PickFed television. 
it's the exact same one of one like everything is the same about this vindication table it's it is breakaway it's got so there's a few different things here we'll get into it so it's the exact one and not only that it comes with two vindication microphones that have the vindication logo on them and it's breakaway it can do you know it comes with the monitors there it has the vindication logos on it you have the microphones and then it also comes with the head pieces here for your commentary team and it also comes with two vindication blue chairs so you get the table you get the mics and you get the blue chairs right there so this is mystery item number four believe me jordan i've also been <laughs> i've also been looking forward to it for years so there is that but yeah mystery item number four we got the vindication breakaway announce table i thought it was a pretty i was like you know what that's pretty i never even thought of that let's, let's run it up so yeah, mystery item number four is going to be the vindication table. I don't know how many fucking times I've said that. Jesus Christ. I've said that like 17 times. We get the idea, Brad. You can see the damn table. It says vindication on it. It is blue. We got it. Just relax. <laughs> we got to get the return to his most viewed vid instantly. I think that would have to break the 11 million mark or something like that if you wanted to do that. Which would be incredible. I would love that, but. And the thing is, is, like, the Fed's going to have to change so much. It would have to change so very much. Jimmy Dingleberry. The payment failed, man. I thought we were over this. But didn't he fix it last time? Didn't Jimmy fix it? Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Fix it. Jimmy, don't, don't do this to me, Jimmy. Don't do this to me. I do have some Marvel Legends. Shout out to Cole, man. Met you at WrestleMania. That's awesome, man. Had a lot of fun out there. Jimmy, fix the payment, man. Don't do this to us. All right, man. I'm going to give him a few minutes here. I'm going to give him a few minutes, and then we will have to come back to that. Come on, Jim. Damn. Dingle Failey. <laughs> Good one, Grandpa Dollars. Grandpa Dollars, you got to buy something, man, with that name. Come on. All righty. Let's get into mystery item number five, and we'll come back. Mystery item five is going to be this custom Jeff Hardy. So we do have this, like, one-of-a-kind face paint deal. It's got this, like, white and blue. And then he's got this blonde hair in here. The belt is white. Yeah, it's just a really fun Jeff Hardy fix-up for you. Very clean aesthetic. I'm liking it. I like it. I, I liked it. I thought it was it was pretty clean. So, Mr. Adam 5 is going to be this Jeff Hardy with this custom fest paint, man. So, here we go. Let's go, Jeff Hardy. The Jeff Hardy figures are so fun, especially if you like to customize and do all those different things, man. It's just... Super fun. Super fun to mix his figures together and do some crazy things. Even though Mattel kind of effed us low-key. Especially when they... As soon, I've talked about this on the channel, but as soon as he came back to WWE, they nerfed the basics and made them trash so you couldn't do arm swaps of basics no more. Pretty much killing any ideas on making fix-up basic hardies or fix-up elites. Navigator collectibles with the win and navigator collectibles with the successful payment. Hell yeah, good stuff, man. Do you remember the torso on the fan takeover party? I do. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Way to go, brother. Way to go. Actually paying for your items? What is this? What happened to the game I love? All right. Did I ain't gonna lie? The last mystery item is heat. The last mystery item is heat. Let's go, Joey T. Appreciate it, brother. Party of eight. Let's go. Appreciate the raid there, brother. Uh, all righty. Ray, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Um, Let's... I can't believe Jimmy failed on the damn vindication table, man. That's such a bummerific thing, man. 
That was Mystery Item 5, right? Where the hell's Mystery Item 6? I don't know. Anyway. Let's go with our next. How many failed payments, brother? It, I mean, it's got to be up there, man. It's got to be up there. We're going to rerun the vindication table. We're going to rerun the table because... Because we got to. Got to make it right. Um, Apologize, man. Jesus. Again, next month. We're always... Like, the mystery items are always... You know what we should do? We should do, like, 25 or 30 mystery items one time. And just do a full... A full stream of mystery items. Alrighty, man, it's coming back. It's coming back. We got the Vindication announce table. You get two Vindication microphones with all the graphics and logos on there. You get two headsets, two monitors, breakaway table, and two folded blue Vindication chairs for your fix-ups or your setup, whatever the hell you want to do there, man. So we do have the Vindication table going right here. Mm. Hate to see it. Run what last? Oh, man. And I do have, again, we do have tie. We still have Undisputed Championships available. It did go cheaper this time. It did go cheaper this time. Drew Downs with the win and payment successful. Let's go, man. Vindication announced table. That's a very unique high. That may be the, that's a very, I don't know. I think that was a cool inclusion. I'm, I was happy to think of that one as a mystery. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that'd be cool for somebody to, to purchase there. Hey, let's not spam YouTube channels in the comment section because there's no way that I could like possibly view them right now, Brad. If that happens, that would be devastating. All right. We're moving on. Mystery item number six. And technically... Technically... Um... Well, I'll just get into it, man. Mr. Adam 6 is going to be Drew McIntyre from WrestleMania 40. Okay? I know the knee pads are not accurate right now. All right? I was going to put just normal black knee pads on there, but look at the look at the back graphic. This is all hand-painted. WrestleMania 40, Drew McIntyre. And I think, to, I think to spice it up a little bit, we're going to throw the world title in there. We're throwing the world title in there. WrestleMania custom Drew McIntyre with the world title. Hand painted. So there we go. We're going to, uh, I am going to, again, I'm going to acetone the designs off the knee pads. Unless the winner, the winner can let me know if you want the knee pad logos on there. Whatever, doesn't matter. But world title and WrestleMania 40 Drew. We need a WrestleMania 47. Yeah, we do. With the damn Nike Fear of God shoes on. Yeah, that would be dope. Oh, shh. Okay, yeah, I did it. All right. I thought I effed that up. Night one or night two, Seth? Night night two. Night one. Uh, night two was better, I think. Maybe. I don't know. The Fear of God shoes were fire. Man was like held together with glue and duct tape at that point. Mm. Perez P with the win and Perez P with the successful payment. That's good stuff, man. This is a hand painted WrestleMania 40 Drew. And if they make this, it's going to be a damn while. You're not going to like, this isn't going to be coming out for a while. So got the hand painted graphic on the back and then you have the world title, man. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. That Drew is actually fun to make, too. So, love to see it. Alrighty, man. 
We're moving into... Is this the last mystery? Dude, I swear it's not the last mystery item. I swear it's not the last mystery item. MDT price is right, baby. There you go. Alrighty. Should be seven. That's what I was thinking. I'm looking around. I only see one more mystery item unless I pivoted. Did I pivot? If I pivoted, I don't recall pivoting. And that's not good. All right. Let's go. Yeah, it should be seven and eight. Should be two more. That's what I was thinking. I only see one, but maybe something fell. Like, I don't. Am I tripping, man? Might have to call an audible or something. While we wait, we do have the patron packages available, I think. I think we still have a few more. If you guys are... We do have uh, this thank you card here. It's got the graphics on there. And then it is a signature, you know, sign card on the back. And then we do have the MDT World sticker. And then you get the crowd sign for your arena. So that's just a patron package deal. It's 10 bucks over in the buy it now section. If you guys want to do that, support the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Wanted to plug that in there. I'd like to sell out of those before the end of the stream. So that would be really helpful. I appreciate you guys. For what it's worth, I got the Jeff in a Patreon package. Might as well ship them together. Oh, yeah, for sure. Any If you bought more than one item, it automatically like calculates the shipping together, and then all the items will be shipped in one batch. So that's how that always goes there. So that's always good. All right. All righty. Um, damn, boy, damn. I appreciate you, Navigator. I appreciate it. Let's go. I want to do something real quick before we run the next mystery item. We have seven patron packages available. If we could get those sold before the end, that would be an ad. That's going to be my goal before the end of it. If anybody wants to purchase one of those, I'd greatly appreciate it. But we're going to get into. I may, if I didn't. If I miscalculated my mystery items, I'm going to have to create one because I'm not about to just shortchange the mystery items. You know what I mean? So we will have to do that. But what we're going to do here is we're going to run the, you know what, let's, let's just run the next thing. And we will tell you guys that right now the Undisputed Championship is available in the Buy It Now. You can buy these. And they're gone. Wow. Good Lord. That was literally in like five seconds. Christ. That's crazy. Lord have mercy, man. That was insane. Dude, those, those belts just sold in like the blink of an eye. That was I legitimately, I legitimately hit post, and it was like, oh, they're gone. It's like the South Park meme. Well, you put them up there, and they're gone. All right, y'all ready for this next mystery item? I don't think you are. I don't think you are. The next mystery item is going to be, is going to be Punisher Seth Rollins. Punisher Seth Rollins, not only Punisher Seth Rollins, but updated formula, updated formula, Seth Rollins, okay? So I want you to understand this. This is not just the old version of the Punisher Seth Rollins. This is an updated version. So let me get the, let me get the original. I got to get the original. Hold up. Let's grab the original. We're going to grab the original so we can compare so you guys can see exactly what you're getting here. So the one on the left was the original, and the one on the right is the update. So on the left, this is the original, and here's the updated one. This has the painted skull on the leg. No knee pad. The knee pad graphic is what over here. So there you go. There is, and it's all on the new formula. You know what I mean? So you get the, you get the thicker legs, all that different stuff. Updated Punisher Seth Rollins as our mystery item. So here we go. Wait, what was mystery item number six? The Drew? 
I just got a cancel order request for the Drew, so gonna have to may have to run the Drew back, man. May have to run the Drew back. But this is going to be mystery item number seven. And we got Punisher Seth Rollins on the updated formula. Yeah, so the Drew the Drew got a cancellation request, which is very bummerific. Very, very bummy. Hate to see it. Oh my god in heaven. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna okay, this this is obviously trolling. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, God in heaven. Mike, can you... Can you... Jesus Christ. I blocked him. God in heaven, man. What a fucking clown. All right. <laughs> that may be the first F bomb I've ever dropped on a MDT video. Let's go. Uh... Let's run it back. All right, mystery item number 8 will just be what the Seth Rollins is. So don't worry about that. We're just going to run mystery item number 8 and it'll qualify. As Seth Rollins. Christ. I apologize, man. I apologize. I am just... I hate that, man. I hate that. No, it didn't go through. I had to block the guys, obviously, like, trolling and running up the score for no reason. I appreciate you guys, man. I'm, I'm so sorry for all of the debauchery that has taken place. I don't think it was a bot. I just think it was somebody just doing whatever, man. But it's all good. It's all good. W PickFed wins again, and his payment was successful. That's like his third purchase tonight. He gets the trifecta. Love to see it. Appreciate W PickFed, dude. W PickFed. That's like his third, maybe? Third, maybe purchase, man. Appreciate, man. I appreciate you, fellas. Are you gonna do a Venom Seth gear? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I think that was my point. Is I would like to do. He shout out to W Pickfed. I would love to do a stream where we do all straight, all straight, just all mystery eyes, all customs, like all one of one, or like you know, just things that I can think of in my brain. Great figure right here, man. Really happy that you enjoyed the Punisher Seth Rollins right there. I also think that like the I don't know it's just it's better it's well it's better made you know better made it's got some like different things going on with it. I like this I like the skull on the side too. I just like it. Yeah, the giveaway is coming. The giveaway is coming, and I got to rerun the the uh, the Drew. So we are going to rerun the Drew, and we do have a couple more things here. Yeah, the Elite 37 Seth Rollins head sculpt is really daggum good, man. It's really daggum good. You can run that Willow if you want. Man, I I really do. Definitely need to to make a new Willow. Let's uh We're going to quick add because we're going to run back Drew McIntyre with the world title because I got a cancel order request so I'll have to I'll honor that and then we'll rerun the Drew and we will run it we got Wrestlemania 40 Drew McIntyre if you guys didn't see it this is hand painted Wrestlemania 40 Drew McIntyre where he won he won the world championship and then got cashed in on by Damian Priest. And I was right there on the floor when it happened and I was losing my shish. So that was crazy. 
He was champ, LOL. Yeah, he was champ for about four seconds. Or was it four minutes or something like that? And then he started trolling CM Punk. Kev San 906 with the win and Kev San with the W. Payment successful. Appreciate you, brother. Went for about the same price, I'm not mistaken. Is it not the same price or like right at the same price? Yeah, that CM Punk Drew McIntyre match going into SummerSlam is going to absolutely feed all the families. So we have Drew McIntyre there. I appreciate it, man. All right, what we have here is I think I do have a mystery item. Mystery item number eight is going to be our last remaining undisputed championship. So this is going to be the last one remaining. We do not have any more here. Will they? I don't. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to have these in the next custom batch. Or is this mystery item nine? Yeah, it will be mystery item nine. I don't know if we're going to have any of these in our next um, in our next batch of championships, but we will. If you have any request for for championships, let me know down in the comment section below so we can get that. And hopefully, I think we're going to try to make a thing where we have them available for buy now, so you don't have to auction for them. And you know, it'll be first come first serve, and whoever gets them gets them. That's what I think we want to do, but again, that will probably be on our next stream. So we do have our Mystery Undisputed Championship right here. And again, this is the last one that we have. It'll be, I guess, whoever wants it, you know, you can grab it there. Yeah, I, I, it's difficult because, you know, you don't want – I want everybody that wants the title to have an opportunity. And obviously, that it's difficult when these are all handmade. You know, we, if we can't just print as many as we effing want, you know, so it's just difficult. But – the championships are amazing. They really are. They look amazing. I think that they complement the, the, you know, the, the figures perfectly. All those different things. So that's always great to see. But this is our last undisputed championship, and our last, uh, you know, go at it right here. And it, you know, it doesn't have Roman Reigns side plates. It does have Cody Rhodes side plates. It is just you can put this on whoever you want, and you don't have to, you know, get anything like that. So if you want to run this in a Fed or something or a display, you do not have to worry about, you know, the side plates, which could you know, cause issues there, which is what a lot of people, a lot of people don't like that about the Mattels, man. So there's that. Over a hundred dollars for the championship. I told you, man, it's either you're either at one end or you're at the other. You either love it or you're like, damn, that's crazy. Luis with the win and Luis with the payment, man. Appreciate all the kind comments. No, Luis did come through, man. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for taking care of your business there. And that was our last championship as far as that is concerned. But now we uh, we do have another MDT championship, and it is the last one. We do have this last championship. This is our last MDT title that we have available in this stream, and again, we may have some more in the next batch, but for now, this will be our last MDT title. So, our last opportunity to get your hands on this one for the night, and then we are going to do our giveaway, and we will uh, find out what that is after we run this MDT championship. So, shout out to Wes Puckett. Appreciate all the people following, man. All the people that have joined in, you guys are absolutely incredible. Appreciate the fine comments, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. It's been a fun night. It's been a fun night. Besides all the payment failures, I love the whatnot streams, man. They are they are really really fun. They're really really fun, regardless of the of the trash that you got to go through. Aunt Frank with the win, fifty four bucks, and Aunt Frank with the W, man. Appreciate that. Does it spin? I wish it spun. That would be cool. But the real MDT championship doesn't spin, so, you know, it is what it is. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that a lot. Paul Riot 94 with the follow. Appreciate that, man. Steel. One thing I want to do is I'd love to... Oh, my God, I just found one. Look at that. Look at that. I just found an elite championship. Does anybody want to... Does anybody want to purchase this elite championship? I'll do 15. 
I wish I wish I had these uh run another random custom. I wish I wish I had these like to just I wish I had these to um just sell, you know. I wish I just had them on hand and I could just sell like a, a trillion of them, you know what I mean? If I had the talent that Dan had, I would absolutely do that. I would make them available for purchase on a website and you could just go over there and grab them whenever. Alrighty, here we go, man. We're running this elite championship, and then we're gonna do our our item here. I may need to look under some stuff. There's actually some stuff like covering over here. I may could might could lift up a couple things, or it's kind of a disaster back here. So I need to you know get it fixed. But we have the elite title, last elite championship up for grabs in auction format here tonight. And we will get it going, man. Appreciate all you fellas coming through. It's been a fun one. Hunter Bro 5096 with the win. And the payment was successful. The MDT action figure on the line. I would I'd love to make my own figure. That would be amazing. I wish I could do that. Good shish, man. We've had a string of successful payments, which makes me excited. Makes me happy, man. People aren't failing on their payments. We've had some. Hey, hey, what was sold? It was an Elite Championship. Elite Championship. We still have Patreon packages available. And let me look under right here, man. We actually might have... Holy shish and... All righty. Holy crap. All right. Well, I just found... I just found this Elite Championship. This is a, this is a different one. I'm going to run this one in a giveaway. We may have two giveaways. I think I'm going to give this Elite Championship away. And then... What is my shipping? Eight dollars for the belt. I'll check on it. I'll modify it if I have to. I will. I'm gonna give this away. And let's do. I want to do another giveaway. Yes, I did, Hunter. Yes, I did, Hunter. I'm gonna do a giveaway for the elite title, and I also want to do. I don't have any other reruns, do I? Because I want to make sure before we do another cash study. Appreciate the purchase of the MDT patron package, Undertaker. Oh, there is an Undertaker on the listing. It says fix up, but I think my guy's just kind of. You should be all good. Did Logan go through? What do you mean? Did Lo I think Logan went through? Did he not? I thought that Mike said that that Logan did go through. It does say it says Undertaker fix up, but it says Undertaker fix up on the thing. But I just have this headless Undertaker. <laughs> like what the hell? Okay. So, uh, does anybody want to me to auction this off? It's just the SummerSlam Elite without a head. Fixed up all right. Yeah, he's fixed up real good. Ain't got a damn dome. Run it. Make it the giveaway? Nah, bro. There's there's definitely something I can give away. I'm going to run this taker as the fix-up taker. I guess I was planning on fixing it up and just never did. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I apologize for that. SummerSlam Elite taker. Headless. Now, you got to think. This neck peg right here is kind of long, so I don't know. You you may have to, you might have to uh, do some modification there. You you may have your own head sculpt that you can put on there, but take the belt off. What do you mean take the belt off? Oh, you're not bid. You're not bidding on the elite title. This is just the this is just the figure. The elite championship will be one of the giveaways. Angel Cuddy, SummerSlam Elite Taker, headless. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Good base right there. Any Cena to give away? Are you the guy that we... Are you the guy that we, like, give away, like, four Cenas on that one stream trying to get you one of those Cenas? Oh, man. This is a great figure. Especially headless when it don't come with those crazy head sculpts. Good stuff, man. All right, we're going to give away the Elite Championship. We're going to give away the Elite Championship, and we're also going to give away something else. I just got to find, like, what the hell is even that? Any hooks? Anybody have some really, any cool ideas for a giveaway prize besides the Elite Championship? What happened to Ray, that one guy hard that, oh, man, Ray. 
Ray was crazy, man. Ray was crazy. Actually, I think I do have a good. I I think I have a cool giveaway item. You can let me know. Let me let me see. I think this would be a cool one. Oh man, this is gonna hurt me to give away, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yep, totally gonna suck. We're gonna give away. Right here. Yeet J Uso. It's gonna be the Elite 90 all white with the Yeet shirt. I like it. I think this is a good I think this is a good one. I may even be able to fix it up a little bit more. Hold up. Hold up. Just a just a sec. Just a sec. Let's see what we got. I got some sunglasses over here. Maybe we can throw on some sunglasses. Let's go, uh Surely I have some white glasses somewhere, man. There's got to be some sort of white sunglasses in here. I may not, though. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see if these fit well. If these fit well, then we'll fill them on there. i got to get them out of the damn bag. I think they're the Hollywood Hogan glasses, if I'm not mistaken. Right here. Does that look good, chat? Is that good right there? All right, so it's like, is this good? I don't understand. Throw in a money in the bank. Just, will you throw in six John Cena's as well? All right. We're going to give away the Elite Championship, and we're also going to also give away the Jay Uso Fix Up Yeet. <laughs> it's like, keys to my house. I'm going to put that in the next giveaway. The glasses don't go. Well, you're getting them anyway, all right? Whoever wins, you get the glasses with the thing. You can do whatever you want there. Yeah, we also need to give away the the do. So if we're going to do that, not give away the do, we'll be auctioning and auctioning off the do at the end. Need to finish this can off. And honestly, it's not a PSA ten do. Got a lot of nicks and crannies in there. It's got it's beat up. So it's like, all right, guys. Next, we're going to be giving away my bed. Um, all right, I'm going to run a giveaway. It's going to be for the elite championship. All you have to do is just enter. That's it. You don't have to do anything crazy. It'll literally say enter giveaway and that's it. You don't have to do anything, man. You just chill. All right, giveaway one. I need to make sure. Hold on. Maybe, let's make sure this shish is... Oh, yeah, I think you have to be following me. If you're not following, I'm letting you know any viewer in your in my stream right now that's not following. So make sure you're following. Only viewers who follow can enter the giveaway. I will be turning on international shipping. And here we go. We're going to run the giveaway. Make sure you're following, man. If it doesn't let you, you got to you gotta follow. Be sure to follow so you can enter the giveaway for the Elite Championship. I appreciate it, Fluffinator. You're a beast. Got to look. Shout out, Brian. Elite Championship. And then we are going to also give away Jey Uso, so don't forget about that. With the Yeet shirt. I mean, you actually have really good odds. If it's not letting you enter the giveaway, if it's not letting you enter the giveaway, you got to get, you got to be on whatnot, and you got to follow. If you follow the link, you should let whoever wins pick which they want, and then the other one will be for what's left. Hmm. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Winner of this giveaway picks the elite title or the Jey Uso. And then the, if it won't let you join us because you're not following, you got to follow. All right. Yeah, that's good. That's a good, that's a good idea. Wes Puckett. Huge shout out to you, brother. Thank you for the $1. Huge shout out to Mike. Good, good idea, Mike. Good shish. I do follow you, brother. Well, it should let you enter then, man. Any chat, any, any reasons why it wouldn't let him join the giveaway? Okay, got it. You need a card on file. Okay. Make sure you have a card on file. It doesn't mean it's going to charge you. It wants me to add payment method. Okay, you got to have a card on file. Okay, have an address slash card on your account. 
Again, it won't charge you for anything. I have to cover the shipping. I have to cover anything. It's legitimately just to enter into the giveaway. So, all right, go out and come back in. All righty then. You got three minutes, three minutes. I want everybody that's in here to actually enter the giveaway. We're missing about 31 people. 41 people. No, yeah, 30, 39 people, 30, 38 people now. The entries are going up. We're getting some entries, but then we're not getting some entries. I want everybody, I want everybody to be able to get in there. Brad, what if you did a live action action figure surgery for episode 100 and then auction the figs? That would be nutty. That would be nuts. That would be really cool uh -huh. to do. Definitely want to do something like that. Mm. Dang, oh, man. I do understand, though. You getting Dragon Ball Z Sparkling Zero? Probably not, man. Probably not. Dragon Ball Z Gaming has really fallen off for me. I haven't really liked any of them since, like, the PS2 days, man. I can't put my card. I understand. I understand. Difficult. It is tough. I understand. The winner... The winner of this giveaway gets to choose, man. You get to choose the J or the Elite Championship, and then the second winner of the giveaway will be able to choose whatever is left remaining. Those rules came from our man Mike, the Wrestling Collector. Everybody seemed to enjoy that, so we are going to roll with that. I think that is a good – I like that. I like that. So we'll have to see about that. And I may be able to pick another item. We'll see. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm, I'm looking around. I'm looking around to see if I can find another item to just – to put up here, man. I'm sure we can find some, but I want it to be a cool item, man. I don't want it to just be, oh, here's a fart in a bag that I saved earlier. You don't want that. You want it to be something quality. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, give me the fart in the bag. <laughs> oh man. I knew there'd be, I know there'd be somebody in there. All right. The can the Diet Duquesne's empty, so Roman tracksuit. Let's not get crazy, all right? No, but I do I do want to do some cool stuff like that. I think next. All right, man. All right, Sean, we'll see you, buddy. I appreciate you coming by. We are going to uh, – we're going to do some, some cool stuff for the next one for sure. Crazy. I was crazy once. Can I have the Diet Dew Can? The Diet Dew Can will be uh, available at the end. It's usually the last thing. Isn't it the last thing we put up, Mike? Isn't it the last thing? My neighbor has mesothelioma. I hate to hear that. I appreciate that, brother. It's usually the most expensive thing. That's not true. That is not true at the slightest. I need to buy if I can find the Elite One Ten Roman for cheap. Bill McKenna got nothing on you, Brad. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all the kind comments. All right, you're just getting weird now. Defining moments die, do can. Oh damn, we're selecting a winner right now. Oh my goodness in heaven! No way! No way, Corey Garman, bro. What? That's crazy. What a crazy pull. Corey, what would you like, brother? What would you like? Which one are you choosing? Are you choosing Yeet Jey Uso or are you choosing the Elite Championship, man? Hold up. Make sure we make sure I don't lose his uh make sure I don't lose his comment if he comes in here and says something. Corey Gorman, man. Garmin with the W. Jay Uso. He selects Jay Uso, Brad. What a choice, Jay Uso, man. Hell yeah. What a pull right there. Good stuff. All righty. What a pick, man. Jay Uso going home to Garmin, man. Big roll tied on that one. Let's get. So now, say, like, when this stuff gets this hype, now I just want to, now I want to give away more things. What else can we give away, man? I want to hook somebody up. What can we give away over here? What in the hell can I give away? I don't think you guys would care that much, right? Yeah, I don't think you guys would. You're not going to care that much what it is. 
I'm getting a lot of different stuff here. Let's see. Figs. Free is free. Facts. I need a Kevin Owens Claw shirt. <laughs> we'll give away Hell's Gate Defining Moments, Kevin Owens. Nah. Buzz Seth. Mm. Hey, I mean, we remade Punisher, Seth. Anything, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Alrighty, let's do any basic figures. Any, there's got to be something. There's got to be something around here. Hold up. Uh, excuse me. Damn, man. All right, we know we're giving away the Elite Championship, correct? We know we're giving away the Elite Championship. Now we just need something a little bit... God, man, I want—I don't want it to just be some run-of-the-mill item. I want it to be like a solid little football item. You know what I mean? Now, somebody said, somebody said that Logan Paul was... It messed up, but then it said it was successful. So they like went back on it, if that makes sense. Give us a football. I should. I should sell. I should sell MDT footballs. Just zebra print on there. Nice MDT logo. Probably be a sweet little football. It was successful. That's what I thought. I thought it was successful. Alrighty. We gotta hurry up. And make a decision, man. All right. Hmm. You know what? I think. I. I, I think I got something. I think I got something. All righty. All righty, let's see what we got. Our next giveaway item is going to be Legends Eddie Guerrero. Edgens, Le Edgens, Edgens, Letty Guerrero. <laughs> All right. All right, so tell me this, Mike. Whoever wins the second gets to pick between Eddie and the elite title, correct? Isn't that how the, isn't that how the cookie crumbles? Am I wrong? Indeed. That's what I thought. All righty. So you didn't just get one giveaway. You got three giveaways. All right, man. Here we go. We're going to create this giveaway. Got to make sure that everything's correct. The last thing you want is to F up everything. All right, man. Winner of this giveaway will be going home with either the Eddie Guerrero. All you have to do is be following me on whatnot and have a payment method on your account. It doesn't and again, it's completely free. You don't you don't owe anything on these giveaways. I pay the shipping, I pay for everything. All you have to do Yeah, you should follow Mike the Mod as well. Yes sir. Yes sir. Appreciate it, man. If you guys if you're coming from YouTube or you saw us on YouTube, man, if you'll follow the invite link, create an account, Follow me on whatnot. I think if you follow my invite link, you automatically follow. But then just have a payment method on file or just have some sort of a card or address on file. And then you should be able to enter. should be really easy. I think we, we keep leaving out like 30 to 40 people every time. And I know there's different methods of that. Like some people aren't – maybe they're watching on desktop or something and they're not actually near it or whatever. The winner of this is going to be able to choose between Eddie Guerrero or the Elite Championship. So this will be up to you guys. You will get to choose which one you want to do there. It is a giveaway. It is not a purchase. This is all. If I get it, I'll get a Roman Reigns tattoo. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Make a custom Judgment Day, Eddie. That would be interesting. Edgens Lady. Edgens Lady, baby. Let's get it. Can you auction Green Goblin Marvel Legend? I don't really do a lot of... Uh, I don't really sell any Marvel Legends stuff. I probably could, but... Dude, I have this one thing that's Marvel Legends related that I really want to get it the hell out of my house. It's so damn big and bulky. I bought it like a decade ago, and I have no usage for it. I need to get rid of it. 
it's three minutes. It'll pick a winner. But then we have the uh, the second item. We got to run another giveaway for the last item. So the winner of this is going to be able to choose the Elite Championship or the Eddie Guerrero Legends Elite. It'll be up to you. So the item that I'm talking about, is that this big box of random Marvel Legends diorama pieces from like the Toy Biz days, I think? And I just have no interest in them. I, like I bought it thinking I could make a cool display and I just don't have... If you're a Marvel Legends collector, run the giveaway. It's running right now, bro. You can, you have to enter right now. You have two and a half minutes. You have two and a half minutes to enter. I'm going to auction it. I'm going to auction it. It's a dude. It's a pretty heavy box. I'd hate to know how much it ships for, but I just want it the hell out of my house. I don't care if it goes for a dollar. I just want it out of my house, and I'm sick of looking at it. So that would be. Do it tonight? I might. I might. If we can get this thing going. Big fan MDT. First time here. Great stream of it always. I appreciate it, Ethan. I appreciate everybody coming in, man. You guys have been amazing. It's always a fun stream. Again, we did have some crazy stuff. Are you auctioning figures tonight? We already auctioned off what? How many figures we auctioned off? Like 30? Something like that? We had a pretty good we had a pretty good show here. We had a pretty good show. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate all the Father's Day comments. Appreciate everybody joining in. You guys have been really fun. It's always fun, though. Every whatnot stream I've ever had has been really fun. It's always good to get on here and just chat it up, interact. What's happening with Jay Fig in the back? That figure is actually gone. This figure has been given away. My man, Corey Gorman, won that. And can't you can't you enter the giveaway twice, right? If you won the first giveaway, you can enter again. So, sheesh. You have a minute and 19 seconds. I appreciate everybody, man. Thank you guys so very much. Yeah, dude. How could dude if he wins both? Oh my god. I'll get a I'll get a tattoo. If he wins both times, I'll get a tattoo of somebody. Dude, if Corey, Corey, dude, if Corey goes back to back, that would be the most insane thing I've ever seen. Have you ever watched How to Get Away with Murder? Yes, I have. I watched like the first four seasons, I think, or three seasons, and that show just put me in a bad mood. It's like every character is like so unlikable. I was like, who? Like, get this shish off my screen. I don't know. I didn't really. I, I watched three or four seasons. I was like, get, the, get, get this shish out. If he wins again, you'll get a shield card angle tattoo. That'd be insane. I've still got $15 free money to spend and put up some more basics. Trey's mad funny. I appreciate it. Lincoln Blakeney started following you. All right, man. We got 20 seconds to get your entries in, man. Get your entries in. 19 seconds to get in. The winner of this giveaway gets a choice between Edge and Letty and the Elite title. You get your choice there. Should be good, man. Should be good. I don't really... Like, Solo Sokoa, I feel like he should have never put on the, the kick pads. Here we go, man. Dude, if it's Corey Garment, I'm going to vomit into the floor and lick it. Luis, Luis, didn't he, he bought, he bought something earlier, correct? Didn't he buy something earlier? Luis with the W, am I wrong about that? Didn't he buy, he bought something, like he, I think he, what did you buy, brother? What did you buy that first go around? Big W, have any titles been listed? Yes, undisputed title, well hell yeah, brother, now the question remains, are you picking the, the Edge and Zleti or are you picking the Elite Championship? Oh, man. I hate to see that. Oh, Luis is picking the Elite title. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Luis is picking the title. That's good shish. Because he already has the Eddie. All right, Dylan, I'll see you, brother. Appreciate you. Well, all right, man. The last giveaway is going to be for this Eddie Football Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. What does shish mean? It's basically just a different word for S-H-I-T, brother. It's like, oh, that's good shish. Shish, shish. Or it's telling somebody to shut the hell up. You know, it's just a... There's two different ways you can do it there. All right, well, now we're down to the Edgens Letty. 
And you got to be following, man. If you want the Eddie Guerrero, you got to be following on whatnot. I appreciate anybody that's on YouTube as well. It's been a fun stream. If you guys have been watching on YouTube and you want to merge over into, into the whatnot, man, just click the link and you can join the invite there. You get the $15 free credit. You just got to have the Celtics or Mavs. We're going to go with the Mavs. I've already said if the Mavs win, come back and complete the 3-0 comeback, I will get a Luka Doncic or Maverick theme tattoo. So we will see what goes with that. We will see, man. Who knows? Can you give away an MDT jersey? I need to get a few more made before I do something like that. But we will see, man. Should be should be fun, man. Got game five tomorrow night. Have you met Cena? I have not. What about Luca? I did say it auction off of Luca. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't realize I had to click to enter the, the giveaways. I was too excited to be here to pay attention. Yeah, man, make sure you click enter giveaway. There should be like a little thing there. You met Luca, but that was dope. That would be really awesome. Did you go to Elimination Chamber? I did not. I did not. I don't have a card. Huh. I think what you should do is buy one of them. I don't even know if it would work, but can you like buy one of those Visa gold gift cards or whatever, and you can put that on the file just to have on your account so you don't have to actually open up a card? Is that – could you do that and then use your credit? And then it would it would use the – it would use the – uh it would use the the balance that was on the card. They don't work on here. Oh, that's trash. Yeah, like a prepaid card or one of those Visa like twenty five dollar gift cards or something like that. Yes, you could do that. I'm getting conflictions here, man. Which side's right? You can't start the giveaway until all the people. I don't think you can run it early, can you? I was gonna wait because there's thirty more people that could enter it. Me, pal. It's a yes. All right, man. I've done it myself. Alrighty. No, you're good, Hunter. I was just telling you what. Uh... Oh, dude, that's sick. No, they 100% don't. All right, man. We got two conflicting sides right here, man. Yes, you could buy a prepaid card, but if you don't, if you don't have at least a dollar on it, it won't recognize as a real card. Well, yeah, man. I'm saying who wants some? I'm saying if I went to Walmart right now. If I went to Walmart right now and I purchased one of those gold Visa cards and then it had 20 bucks on it or whatever, and I come over here and I put it on whatnot and I sign up under a thing, technically shouldn't I have $35 total of credit? And then let's say I bought something for $10, the payment should still work, but I'd still have money left. I'm just saying just hold it just to hold down that spot as your card so you don't have to actually put a bank you know registered card anyways i don't know how that shish works i'm winging it out here anyways we have a minute and a half left if you were to put up the spinner belt i'd drop a bag for it need them for my scene is you mean like the actual oh my credit doesn't work from youtube yeah i wouldn't expect that to work i don't know how that definitely wouldn't work <sighs> We got a minute left here, man. Custom spinners? Yeah, I don't have any custom spinners. We need... Dude, if we could get Dan to make the 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 spinner championship that actually spins, then we'd be fighting. We'd be fighting. I think we have a few more. We have a few more patron packages available. If anybody wants to purchase one of those, I'd greatly appreciate it. 40 seconds left. Should be fun, man. Should be fun. After this, we're doing the Die Do Can, and then we are going to wrap things up. We're going right at two and a half hours here. Went a little longer than I thought we would go. Didn't have as many items to auction off, but we did run into a lot of setbacks. We did. I mean, we had to re, we had to do like ten reruns, if I'm not mistaken. Had to do like ten a bunch of clowns. Yeah, it was Celtics in five. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this thing's going at least six games. I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. It's been really fun. 
10 seconds to get your giveaway entry in, man. Make sure you're clicking enter giveaway. Make sure you're clicking enter giveaway. Enter giveaway. Here we go. Mm. HCW figure with the Legends Eddie Guerrero. Oh my God. Let's go. I'm always hyped for people when they realize they won. That's awesome. Mike, I'm not going to lie. If you were to win, I'd have to do it again. Does the address work? What do you mean, does the address work? Just make sure you have your address there, yeah, so that it can be shipped out to the correct place. Yes, sir. Make sure that is correct there. But what a bunch of baloney. Should we do a Mike the Mod giveaway? Mike the Mod giveaway right here. No, <laughs> I'm just joshing. <laughs> good, good stuff, fellas. Good stuff. Huge shout out to Steven, man. Huge shout out to Steven. Just a little messy. Appreciate you, man. Hope you drown in the fishbowl. That's why I can't have water in my house. That's why I can't have water in my house. Appreciate you guys, man. It's been fun. It's been hella fun. All right. The last thing that we got, I guess, it's been like a staple is to give away or to uh, sign the Mountain Dew can and put it up, whether it goes for five cents or $700. We always do so. So here we go. Last item is going to be this Diet Dew can that uh, we will put off here. Love your whatnot streams. First time I did. I know, man. I know. I appreciate the kind comments, though. You're an absolute beast. You have the dented, it's dented, man. Like, we've had much better cans than this. You shout out to Damien for the purchase of the pack, Patreon package. But um, I have I have an idea for um, Diet Dew can. And I really don't want to even tease anything. That's just, just all I can say right now. But Diet Dew can, that's, that's something that I want to, uh, something I want to do. Something I want to do there. So we'll see. Well, so there's something I want to do involving the Diadu can, so you'll see. But I am going to sign this. So whoever purchases this, it will be signed. It's like a, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the, the Marvel lot. Dude, the Marvel lot's kind of a, it's like a dumb, uh, I really do want it out of my house, though, man. I really do want it out of my house. You know what? Let's do it. I'm doing it. I'm getting it the hell out of my house. I can't look at it for another damn day. It's right here under the table. Just, just look at this. Just look at this. You got to, dude, it's awful. All right. It's this massive box. It's not really massive box. It's a pretty big box, though. I'd say it's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the box is falling apart. But, like, it is a decent-sized box filled of shish like this. So, like, this is like a little diorama piece. You have this little diorama piece. It's just like this random stuff, man, that I don't want. It's a box full of stuff like this. And so that's why I'm saying I don't want to do it now because it's kind of hard to even get on camera. But it's like a, it's a literal box full of these little diorama pieces. And I don't want it in my house anymore. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Toy Biz Marvel Legends bases pretty much. There's a lot of them. Run it. I don't want to put it up for five dollars. I'm putting it up for a dollar, and if it sells for a dollar or five cents, whatever. I don't really want to run. I'm not running it this time. You got to come back. You got to come back because it's got it's way too it's way too much. The box is falling apart. I don't feel like putting it on screen. Is it rare? All right. I'm doing the die do can, and I am going to be. Riding off into the sunset. Getting a little late here. I appreciate everybody for coming in, man. You guys have been absolutely incredible. It's been a fun time. Always is, though. Always is. That's so why I encourage people to come through, because they're always really fun. But. Die Duke and... 
putting it up for auction. Any fig hunts tomorrow? Hmm. I don't. I don't think so. Tomorrow's going to be kind of a busy day. But it should be. Uh, I definitely. I'll do it. I'm definitely going to do a. I'm definitely going to do a hunt this week. I just don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. So that'll be the thing there. And then can I get a shout out suggestion? Bludacious. Is that how you say that? Oh, dude. MDT colored guy. Do can Voltaire with the wind, man. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. Nick Storm. I feel like you're late, man. It's been a good stream, man. Appreciate it, Voltaire. Really appreciate it, man. I'm allergic. This guy shows up with that. Yeah, no, Nick Storm just showing up, man. There's no junk you can sell. I really fashionably late. Brother, we're literally going off the air in five seconds. Nah. I appreciate it, Voltaire. I appreciate it, man. You guys are amazing. We're going to... The next, dude, the next stream is going to be epic, all right? Then I'm going to plan for the next one to be bigger than anything we've ever done. So we're, I'm talking, I'm going to, I'm going to go way out of my way to make it the best of all time. What could make, leave me some suggestions. What would make it the best of all time? What can we put in there that would make it just the best of the best? Like, oh my God, this is sick. Okay. That guy's getting blocked. A willow figure would go nutty. That would be sick. Gotta go get more money for it. Roman fix up head sculpt. Bull of belt. Spray Wyatt. Alright, man. Alright, man. We're gonna... Dude, I love that Willow Jeff Hardy, though. I don't know if I could do that, but we're going to do some cool stuff, man. We're going to do some cool stuff, for sure. 1,000% going to make some stuff happen here. <sighs> Punisher Jeff. Nick, you missed it. We sold this Punisher Seth Rollins. It's on the updated formula. Look at this. This was a mystery item. Mystery item right there. You missed it. But all righty, man. All right, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. You guys were absolutely incredible. It was a fantastic show. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys did enjoy. Appreciate Mike always. 540 for your toenail clipping. You guys are crazy. All righty, man. How the hell did I even end this thing? I never, I can never figure out how I end this thing. Is it just like the top thing in the top right corner? Mike, how do I end this thing? Top right and in. All right. All right, man. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are incredible. Have a blessed night. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Peace. I need to create a raid, though. Let's let's create a raid. If anybody's staying on here, we'll, we'll send somebody over there. What do we got? Who the hell are these people? Who in the... Who in the... Can I not? Is nobody in here? Like, I don't recognize anybody on here. Who in the freaking... All right. I don't know who this is, but... People you don't support, like, I don't reckon... No, I, I bounce around to every wrestling action figure seller for most of the time, and I didn't see any... Re there was, like, no wrestler figure sellers, so... All right, man. Peace out.